Hello everyone who was unprepared for this to be the game that I was going to play today. I basically just said hello to myself, but hello everyone else as well. Um, <laughs> I want you to know that I decided what game we were going to play at about 10.25am uh, this morning. It's now 11.17am, so uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> why is it on golem legit okay i li i cannot stress to you enough how much golem would be the perfect game for me to play right now but i wanted to do like fun alerts for golem and like i promised i would do every a whole golem special and i didn't have the time to do that for today if I had have had the time, we would be playing Gollum right now. I cannot... This is the truth of the matter. <laughs> I... If we really would be playing Gollum. If I had time. You're so cute. Thank you! It's because I... It's because I didn't have time to put it up. Because I laid in bed and thought about what video game I was going to play for like an hour. So I was really late, so then I just put it in a bun because I didn't have time to do anything with it. It's better that we don't play Golem today. Hannah will be so into the game that she'll want to dedicate an entire week of streams to it. True. 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 Also, the secret that you don't know about this hair, even though I'm telling you, is that I just have several of these in the back to try and like make it look like it has any sort of structure. No, it's all falling. No. <laughs> huh? Um, so potatoes, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the 11 months. How you doing? It's almost all year, holy moly. <gasps> she would like Gollum so much, she wouldn't take time off. Yep. I think that's gonna happen. Anyway, hello, how's everyone go? How's everyone going? How, how are we doing? Hello, Goose, Aquado, Racco Swift, uh, Batman, Siren, Artisian, Random Person, Giratina, um, 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 Elf, hello, Renoshi, hello, Mike, hello, Autoluxa, hello, Hano, hello, uh, Bluebird, hello, Soma, hello, Gearbox man, hello, good morning. Yemi, hello. Zaid, hello. Callus, hello. Elliot, hello. Movemeister, hello. Um, Chazis, hello. Daniel, hello. Raj, hello. Melody, hello. Shalokyad, hello. Crimson, hello. Kaki, hello. Um, Harmony, hello. Melody, what did I say Melody? Melody, hello. Um, hello everyone, how are we doing? Infinite Wealth is killing me. I could understand and I just, messed around for like three and a half hours in that game. Oh, also, I believe if you are a Yakuza enjoyer and you are unaware, uh, I updated a lot of thoughts to Downpour and Downpour has put them in the spoiler chat. So if you need, if you wish to be like, what is, what's Hannah's thoughts? I somehow having played a future installment of the series feel less spoiled like let like i wasn't even spoiled on anything and somehow i feel even more unspoiled than i've ever been it's quite impressive i read those thoughts and it was a lot we got served scrambled hannah brain Hi Luxury, how are you? Hello Danny. How's it going? Um After yesterday I was fully expecting X of Five. This feels like being hit by a train in a somehow wonderful way. <laughs> I just have my hand gently held about VLR this morning. What excellent timing. There you go. Pigeon man. Pigeon man. We experienced full brain fog. <laughs> I don't know if that means in 999 or oh my yak is the thoughts. <laughs> it could be either one. Oh. Yesterday's stream felt like a fever dream. You're telling me. 
Absolutely. Can't believe I have to interrupt my Hades runs to watch Hannah play VLR SMH. I'm so sorry. You could, you could, I, I'll, you, you could escape and I can escape all at the same time. It's, it's fun. It's fun, right? I can't believe you are forcing me to play VLR so soon. I'm sorry. Okay. I had a lot of thoughts. Okay, so like legitimately, I'm absolutely not kidding when I say like I decided to play this game like an hour ago. Um, so I'll, 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 I'll tell you all the brutal, honest truth of the matter. Okay, I'll tell you what happened over the last, I don't know how many hours. Um, so I really want to play Yaksa 5. I, I will be... I'll be so on it. I want to play Yaxa 5 so bad. I have been thinking about Yaxa constantly for the last however many hours since I I, I last stream. I want to play Yaxa 5 immensely. However, I did not know if it was a good decision to play Yaxa 5 because here's the thing, okay? 999, we, we, I, I want to get into discussing 999 and all that jazz. We'll get that. But um, 999 left me on a note that was um i don't think i actually know what the word for it is i wasn't necessarily best pleased by the final <laughs> moment of, of, of 999 um i was exhausted i was struggling to stay conscious um disappointed I'm not disappointed. I, I'll get into it anyway. So I was like, eh, I was like eh, on the end of 999. I, there was something that I just re I really didn't like. Didn't work for me. I was like, I don't know how I feel about this one. Also, yes. Can we please just give AJ a a clap because AJ has had to freaking deal with me. Just deal with me. Full stop. <laughs> um. Me and AJ have gone through my entire Steam library. We've gone through my backlogged. We've gone through the how long to be of so many different games. We've gone through so many things. We've gone through me being like, oh, what if I just play this? And AJ going like, yeah, you could play that. And I'm like, no, I can't play that. And he's like, okay. <laughs> so thank you so much to AJ. Um. And yes, AJ, AJ may have helped me by being a proxy in the spoiler chat. Who's to say? <laughs> um, so, um, okay, so, oh, what was, I, what was I saying? So yeah, so I was like, I don't know if I want to carry on after 999, but then I was like, damn, I think ultimate, like, cause I do, uh, I still wanted to play VLR. And so I then was like, okay, what if I do Yaxa 5, then VLR, then Yaxa 6? This is smack dab in the heart of Tokyo. And... Haven't played this one yet. Looking forward Thank to seeing you. you play it. Have a prime set. Oh my gosh, heck yeah. Thank you so much. Um, so that was the idea. And then... I don't... <laughs> and then AJ made an expression or a noise or a mixture of both that made it very clear to me that there was no way I was going to be able to finish Yakuza 5 and not immediately want to go into Yakuza 6. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, scrap that plan. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, that's not going to happen. So I was like, the thing is, is I don't want to wait because like Danganronpa, I feel like you can like have a large amount of time in between each game and like you're fine and it's it doesn't matter. Um, however, from the, the vibe of chat and from like the vibe of just general things, I was like, I don't think that is the same for 999 and VLR. I think I need to like at least remember something going into VLR and if I don't play it, sooner than later i'm gonna forget everything because my mind is gonna reject the information that has been forced upon it um so 
All that to say, at about half ten this morning, about an hour ago, I was like, okay, let's. I'm gonna play VLR. So we're gonna give VLR a go. We'll see how it is. I'm very excited. I, I and I do want to say that I already like 999 far better than when I first finished it. Um. So. I'm sure that VLR is going to absolutely freaking melt my poor little brain beyond comprehension, and that's fine. I've I've accepted this, and if it for um, for whatever reason, if it's just not clicking, and if I think waiting a bit longer would have had a better like, we'll give it a better chance, then we'll just do that. But the plan for now is we're going to do VLR. I haven't even began to think about Zero Time Dilemma, so let's just, we'll put that in the back pocket, I think. Um, we're gonna do VLR, and then, and then my Yakuza patience will snap, and we will do Yakuza. That's the plan. That's the plan, I think. Sounds like a plan. Um, thank you so, so much, Victor, for the two months. Welcome back. Thank you for the prime. Um, we can be so confused and overwhelmed together. We streamlined what's the plan. I just rambled for so long, but I'm just going to summarize it with VLR Yakuza 5. <laughs> you are being very generous, giving X a, ch a chance to finish 8. That too. I was thinking, if I start Yakuza 5 now, the day after Yakuza chat has exploded and imploded, it feels like a cruel joke. <laughs> so I can't do that to them. So they get like a week and a half to finish eight. So step to it, Yakuza chat. Start zooming or else. Zero Time Dilemma gonna be in the trenches harder than the X of Five, I'm predicting it's so bad. I don't, oh, 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 I was like, I don't know what that means, but I realized you're saying Zero Time Dilemma. Maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know. So the plan is VLR, Yakuza 5678. Uh, probably. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I mean, <clears throat> oh yeah, Rebirth's coming out. God. You know, I was saying, you don't even want to know what I was, I, maybe it would be mean to say. <laughs> there was a moment last night when I was having my breakdown to AJ that I, where I was like, I really just want to play Persona 3 Portable. <laughs> and I said that after saying, I hope that there's a short game that I can play. <laughs> so... I don't really know how I'm doing. Um, it's been a, a, a... I've been having a lot of breakdowns over the last few hours, man. Even in, even in my unconscious sleep, I was having a breakdown over what game I was playing today. Chainsaw Man, basically. <laughs> ah, just when you think you're out, P3 pulls you back in. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, damn. I just want to play for three. Because I was looking at short games. I was looking at um, Inscription and Signalis, and I was like, maybe them. And then I was like, and then I was looking at Catherine, because I've wanted to play Catherine for ages, but they didn't have Catherine full body on Steam. So then I was like, God, I just wish I could play Persona 3. And then I was like, wait, there is Persona 3 that I haven't played. <laughs> and I was like, no, no. Good morning, big star. And Artemidia, enjoy your emotes. Signals is so good. Catherine would have been so good. Catherine would have been. If it was on Steam, we would probably be playing Catherine today. When was the April 5 vanilla Catherine over full buddy? There's I've seen. No cure for stupidity. Playtime's Hello? over, kids. It's time for the real deal. Don't oh, tempt me with portable. Shit. Son of a bitch! This is it! I ain't holding back! I've improved since our last fight! You can't hide your weaknesses from me! I excel at data analysis! I don't need no persona to find your weaknesses! Damn you! He 
so You've covered up all your weaknesses. You, oh, that you miss guy. Him. That guy. I do miss him. Are you kidding? I miss him so much. Thank you so much for the 1,300 bids, Julia. Thank you so much. He excels at data analysis. Why does he sound like a Yu-Gi-Oh character? Because he is. In his blood and bones, he was built of a Yu-Gi-Oh character and he got put in a Persona game. It wasn't fair. <laughs> he deserved better. Um, he's the best. The voice sounds super familiar. Who was that? I don't remember his name, uh, but he plays Lancer in Fate Zero and Shinjiro in P3. I feel like his name is Grant or something. George? I feel like it's two G's. I don't remember. Um, Grant George. Oh my God, I did remember. Oh my God. Wow. Looks like flex. Um, yes, no, I know that there's a lot of difference between, um, or a lot of like debate between whether uh, vanilla Catherine or full body Catherine is better. But basically the main argument I've seen is that like, there's not, you might as well just get full body because you're like, I don't know, but it's just kind of like you might as well. So I'll, I'm just going to do that one because why not? Um, oh, he is also Leon. True, true, true. 11037, etc. Um, I really hope they remake P1 and P2 as well, even though games would be very different. Yeah, true. I want to play P2, but I think for the manga, uh, for P1, I'm going to read the manga. I know I haven't been watching many streams because of spoilers. How far are you into Yu-Gi-Oh! And will you watch the other series? I only care about your 5DS opinions. Um, 5D is the one with the Yu-Gi-Oh! on motorbikes, right? Because that's the only one that has intrigued me in at all. Um, so I am at, I'm like nearing the end of Battle City in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, Kaiba just said the words nerd herd. So I don't know if anyone developed trauma from that, that takes them back to that exact episode, but, uh, yeah. Um, Joey's... Right, Yu-Gi-Oh is rough, man. Yu-Gi-Oh, we're struggling. We're struggling out there. Um, anyway, so 5D, I don't know if it's 5Ds, 5DS, I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, in general, can we move on from P2 and uh, lad, lad talk. Sorry, we don't want to get into big spoilers here because people are, uh, well, I haven't played P2, so I don't want any spoilers. And then also lad eight, we don't want spoilers for. You can ask me in the discord or something. Uh, I did put all of my thoughts. If you're in the discord downpour, I sent downpour like 4,000 characters worth of thoughts. So go into the, the Yakuza Discord and then you can read it all. Um, speaking of Danganronpa, who was your favorite pro tag in the series? I've not played V3, so also no V3 spoilers. Um, but my favorite protagonist is probably Hajime. Uh, um, maybe it is Makoto. I don't know. I, I love both. Uh, so basically in Danganronpa 1, my favorite characters are Byakuya and Makoto. In Danganronpa 2, my favorite characters are Nagito and Hajime. So, uh, yeah, I, they, yeah, them. I don't know. I can't really choose. Does Makoto have a command? I don't know. Um, he, yeah, he does. There you go. Ultimate bestest boy, ultimate CEO, ultimate treason, ultimate good boy, most amazing, most bestest boy in human history. That's him. Mm -hmm. Are all Yaxo feel and play the same? 
High Fire, I would go into the Discord. We're not going to talk about Yakuza spoilers here and like big differences between the games um, because we're not into the... Because like we try to refrain from big spoilers from series like in gameplay of other games. Um, obviously some come out and that's fine, but we're not going to get big into discussing it. And I haven't played uh, half of the games. Is there a Nagito? Is there a Nagito command? Which one do you want? I there's many. I don't even remember the names of them all. <laughs> Hi Megan. Where are we dropping? Nevada. I hope you're ready. <clears throat> Did you play Ultra Spy Girls? Not yet. Not yet, but I think I will. I'm so afraid of Despair Girls, man. Um, I think I'm going to play it, but I don't know if I'll stream it. Have we decided on a stream game? Check the category, bestie. Check the category. You might like what you see. You might hate what you see. You might think, are you sure, Hannah? Had the most visceral reaction to that. Which one? What? Who? Nevada or? <laughs> Jamie just platinum chicory for the second time this morning. She's got now got three more platinums than I ever have, and she's only played two games to complete. This is so amazing! Oh my goodness! I don't think I've ever platinumed a game. Jamie is such a gamer. What the heck? So are we having the reward from the virtue that is the last? Yes, whatever that means. We are gonna do that. Abs yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, what was I gonna say? I guess we can talk about our, uh, we can talk about uh, 999 feelings now if we want. What changed your mind on 999 in the time that you beat it? My mind hasn't really changed on 999. I don't, I, I'll, I'll go through the thought process if you would like. Are you going to review 999? I can try. <laughs> I can try. Enter your lag headband. Do we have a backlog review? Not yet, no. Any disappointments? Okay, so I will say, I don't think that I had necessarily disappointments. Okay. I find it very hard to... I don't know what, what adjectives I need. Um, basically, I, I never, ever, ever expected this game to be in any way, like, grounded or... Uh, I didn't expect the game to be like, I don't know, like I, I grounded, I think is the right, is the best word. Like I didn't expect the game to be like super, super serious or anything like that. Um, in, in that way. However, I just feel like it just got to such a level that I found it like, it went from beyond like, oh, I can like still enjoy this to this is just so absurd and stupid that I like can't like I just don't feel anything about it um apart from like kind of vague annoyance <laughs> it's 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 like exactly like AJ's explaining it well like I was never expecting the game to be necessarily realistic but it just went beyond like even believability to me like I was just like this is just stupid which is kind of why I wanted to play VLR because I was like well I would just like answers that just give me anything um and Seriousness and silliness balance each other out to being underwhelmed. I don't even know if I feel like it was that serious. Um, like, I think it, like, had serious subject matter, but I don't think it dealt with it that seriously. 
But I do think that the... I will say that even though obviously I did not play it on the DS, the... There are, there are many moments where, like, I completely understand now why the pe people were like, oh, it, it, it's not good on PC. Um, because I, 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 it feels like a game that was literally made for the DS entirely, and I don't know how you can replicate that well uh, for PC. Like, the playing that on the DS must have been freaking insane. I can't even imagine. Um... More so than Ghost Trick. Ghost Trick, I don't think there was any moment where I was like, yeah, this would be better on the DS. Apart from like the vibe of like being in bed and holding your little DS and being like, wow, this is so creepy. But uh, just because of the way that uh, 999 is made, it feels like a DS game. Like it just, <sighs> yeah. Hello, Sota, how are you? I would love to hear your Unleash 999 thoughts, <laughs> if you're willing. If you're not, then that's very understandable. Hi, Abaddon, how are you? Um, I do think the, the DS lacking the flowchart honestly helps. I had to see and relive so many scenes. And that's a good thing for you. Um, it was very much a game that was written to not have voice acting. I think for the most part, the voice acting is completely good and fine until nearer the end where they start talking in ways that I think doesn't work as well when you have voice acting. But um, I think the voice acting is good though. I will say I don't have any problems with the voice acting. I just think the writing is not built for voice acting at certain moments. As this stream was my first exposure to this game, I still hell, still have so many questions about what happened. Yeah. Um, what moments? So for me, this is like such a small one that I'm like, eh, I can like, it doesn't annoy me to the point of like actually being a negative for the game, but it's like, I feel like it took me out of it, a t like the tiniest bit which is when they're revealing Ace's Frigus from Rodia. Um, and he talks about uh, the numbers rather than just like, your voice is entirely different. And maybe that's because the game doesn't do a good enough job saying that like, I cannot say it, I'm so sorry. Fox of Rodia. It, they don't do a good enough job of being like, that could also affect how he reads voices. In which I would be like, okay, that's fine. I have no problem with that. But because the game doesn't touch on that at all, it's like, to be fair, even if A said you sound different, it still would have proven it. Exactly. That's my point. It makes no sense that Ace's first thought is like, your number is different. When he sounds, they don't sound similar at all. Which then for me, I'm like, why are you saying that? Like, just say that they don't sound like that's jumpy because you know it is because of his voice. And it still works and it still proves it. Um, so that's why I'm like, the voice acting does kind of just like, you're like, huh? It doesn't quite work. Um, um, I was originally annoyed because it dumped so much, it was so insane and then left you with nothing. Um, yeah. And then, so... I... And then also, um... I real I don't know where they're gonna go with it. I don't know. I don't know if it's that. And this is kind of why I want to play VLR is because I'm like I kind of want answers to this sort of thing. Is the Alice thing at the end? I hate so much. I like. 
that to me is just so beyond anything that I'm just like, what's the point? Like it just, it, it just, if we're going to work with that and that's something that we're going to just accept, I just like, what's, I don't see the point in believing anything. I'm just like, I don't, it doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> and that's where for me, it's like, it goes from like, believable and nonsense to just like, I just don't care. Like, what's the point? <laughs> I had to dip my stream. What happened with Alice? Okay. What happened with Alice is that it, in after the credits, they're just, they're driving away from, they're driving away from like the, the place that they were in. And then they're like, who's that on the road? And it's just Alice in full like Egyptian gear, just like sticking out her thumb to hitchhike. And then that's just what they leave you on. And I just thought it was awful. <laughs> I just thought it was really bad. But I don't know. I have hope that VLR will do something with it, I guess. Um, and that's a big reason why I want to play VLR is because I'm like, I just want to know if, if this is silly or what. <sighs> I guess it was made to be funny, but it's not. Yeah, because it's also like, if it is like funny, if it is just meant to be something silly and nonsense, then it shouldn't happen then because we've just been burning children and incinerators. <laughs> You know? I am so cold. You need like a hot bath or your fire on or something. Everything you're describing is how I feel about Danganronpa stuff. You know, it's exactly... So I know a lot of people really, really, really dislike the ending of the first Danganronpa and I love it. And whilst I was playing the end of 999 I was like is this how people who hate Danganronpa 1's ending feel and like I got like for the first time I was like wow is this how they feel do I get it is this is this it um but I love Danganronpa 1's ending so I I kind of don't get it but I also do but I also don't The entire car road thing and Alice at the end felt so off to me. Lamau, it became so weird in tone. Like the game is often silly, but the entire ending was so goofy in a way that I felt was just like, yeah. No, I, I, I agree. I got that. It's more to do with caring about what happens to characters. Oh, I see. I see. I, I can get that. I think with Danganronpa, uh, we talked about it a bit, but it's like you tend to learn a lot about the characters uh, knowing that they're like about to die or whatever. So it can kind of be a struggle to, for some people I'm sure, to like kind of engage with them. And also they are just like awful people a lot of the time. And some people like obviously fairly just aren't engaged in awful people. Um, I love the cast of Danganronpa. I will say like overall I think... 999's cast is more like overall just like fun and likable and cool like it's more solid as a whole but like I don't think any of them get anywhere close to as good as Danganronpa characters um I will say I, it was a problem I had the whole game and I don't even know if it is necessarily a problem um I, I just felt no emotions about the characters which kind of made some point like some parts pretty Eh, for me um like i know the the snake breakdown was a very big thing and i just struggled to feel much about it because i haven't seen clover and snake interact at all so i just i'm like okay i guess um and like he's having a whole freaking meltdown disaster and i'm like and it I, it's a cool scene 
but I'm just like, oh, the last I heard from you two was that, like, Junpei was surprised that you two were even related. <laughs> so cool, I guess. Um, and that's the only two times, like, that's the only time we still them interact, so I'm just like, okay. Um, yeah. The majority of 999 felt grounded for what it was going for, so the ending just sticks out. Exactly! Like, I think that's it, right? Like, even though it was, like, morphogenetic fields are an insane plot point, but, like, within the world it felt grounded. But then, by the end, it didn't even feel grounded in its own world anymore, and I was just like... Hello, Downfall. I hope VLR is so VLR and VLR is. I hope Lad is good. I hope you're having the best time ever. <sighs> I miss the ending. Are we on the Millennium Tower? You know it. We always are. <laughs> Daigo was in a coma. <laughs> and there was an Egyptian mummy. It was crazy. <laughs> Have you played any of the Ace Attorneys? I've played the first four games of the first one. Not always when it convinces the people playing it that student science is real. That wouldn't happen. Something, something rough. Don't go something rough. Aw, oh, she. <laughs> Morphogenetic fields are a weird concept to do something with for a game. I've only seen it being used once in a type of media. I think it's a really fun idea. I don't necessarily like the way that it's executed, but I do think that there's really, really cool thoughts you can get from it. Like, I don't think I like particularly the whole like nine years in the past thing. And that's fine. Like, I'm fine to just be like, I'm not a big fan of like time travel -y sort of things, but I'm down. Like I'm down to just accept it and go with it. Like I, I do genuinely like the whole, like she's here, so we must be able to save her. Like, I think that's really cool. I like that a lot. I like that like she starts, that Kane starts like dying in the roots where you are in the wrong route. I think that's cool. I really like that. Um. I think there's some really, I mean, I don't think the game is going to get this dark, which is insane for a game which tried to incinerate children. Um, I think there's some super cool stuff you could do with Akane and Junpei and how betrayed Junpei could feel. Um, I really, really would hope that they wouldn't do like a whole lovey-dovey Akane Junpei thing, personally. Because, like, Akane literally put him in a death game. And, like, abu like, abused him into doing what she wanted. In the same way that she did the others. And, like, good for her, but also I hope we don't just, like, move over it. <laughs> I was just talking about this. The Akane betrayal. God forbid she has a hobby. <laughs> Do you mainly play games on console or PC? Uh, mostly PC in the last year. It was a fun time, but I wanted to guttural scream after my night. <laughs> you don't want a love story in Jinpei for Akane because you want Akane for yourself? Um, no, but sure. <laughs> yeah. I had to reconcile the fact that Akane we see is canonically fucked up, but we never see that. Yeah, like I, for me, it is genuinely a real shame because like I pretty early on was like, I want Akane to be zero. Um, like I wanted that pretty immensely. Um, also, I would like to say, I can't believe that the two people I wanted to be insane were Ace and June and I kind of got my wish. Um, but obviously we never actually get to see Akane like reach that level. But the fact that like 
Akane freaking is putting on this whole perform like when Ace is gonna sacrifice himself. This is when I realized this, it was the moment that I was like, oh never mind, maybe I did quite enjoy this. Because Ace is like, I go, I'll sacrifice myself. And June's like, oh my god, no, like you can't, like that's awful. Oh my god, that's so how could you do that? Oh no. What kind of people are we to let a man sacrifice himself like this? Ah, oh, and I'm like Bitch, you're incredible. Oh my god, girly. Golly, you're crazy. <laughs> and I think that's amazing. And like, and that definitely like re put Akane up in my tier list. And I was like, okay, no, I actually really do uh, enjoy looking back at this sort of thing. <sighs> it's good, it's good, it's good. Knowing that Kane is meant to be the novel mode and we're actually just going through the game again really changes things. I think I would... The thing is, is I don't want to replay the game by any means, but... Um, I think sometimes it works for novel mode and sometimes I'm like, I don't know how I feel about that. And But it's, it's, it's interesting, I guess. So like if everyone there had some connections to the events nine years ago or to Akane herself except for Lotus and who is Lotus? Lotus has connections. Her daughters were in the in the experiment. Although that said, I think that the the game really freaking shafts Lotus, uh, and is just like doesn't know what to do with her at the end, which is kind of a shame. But yeah, thank you for the bit as well. Would you watch another stream or play it? Um. I really want to watch Joseph Anderson play it because I can't imagine I can imagine I can imagine him just having several breakdowns and that would be very funny to me. But that's about it. His playthrough is so hilarious. I can imagine him hating so many things, <laughs> but in a very funny, good, good way. They are, they were as insane as you're thinking. He lives, loves Akane. Beautiful. Beautiful. I can't wait. Honestly, if June got to be unhinged, I would forgive anything in 999. I know the way she's written in the game has its merits and people like it, but I would love for her to be the devious mastermind instead of the nice childhood crush. Like, what was the killed rabbits for there? I, I genuinely am like, the rabbits was a really like annoying, silly thing that I didn't like. I don't know. Like, they say who the killer is and all that, but I was like, oh, that's kind of whatever. Um... And the thing is, is I think she is unhinged, um, but you only know it in retrospect. Um, and I do wish we had got to see it. So I'm hoping maybe VLR like does touches on things like that. Um, because like, there's no way she's well, I don't think, like <laughs> with these facts not to be well um if they've just if they literally just like resumed Jinpei and Akane be having crushes I think I would be like oh okay that's a real shame but I'm holding out hope at least for now When I process how fucked up Akane is that's when I was like sold yeah and I will say that uh my favorite like dynamic in the game is is uh, Akane and Ace because just the way that she like manipulates him is incredible. Um, it's so good thinking about it. Uh, but I yeah, I just hope that, that she doesn't just get resorted to like I'm the childhood crush character. Wow. <laughs> let her be fucked up. Just let her go crazy. Hi Sephiroth, how you doing? 
Also, can we talk about the concept of experiencing death or being aware of your death and what you have to do to change it? Is that kind of desperation terror for nine years? Yeah, I hope they like touch on it. Cause like right now I don't really have an emotional like reaction to that. Cause I'm just like, yeah. Hi cat lady, how are you? So I really hope they do something with those ideas. And the fact that she put, I cannot go, like, but she like put the, the innocent people into this like death game thing, thing, whatever. And she got them killed in several timelines. So... I hope she isn't just a sweet, you know? I thought she'd be like Saika from Dungeon for 1. Me too. Me too. Tell us about how much you like or dislike Clover. I like Clover, she's really cool. I don't have like crazy big thoughts on Clover. She's, she's fun. I like that they show a timeline where you can see like how like it literally feels like an AU timeline where it's like, let's take a character and see like what we could get them to do in this situation. And I, it works really well. Like, I, it's great. I wanted to see her snap and kill a man with her bare hands. Is that too much to ask? Right? I want that too. I want that too. Like, I think I was, I, I found it kind of a shame that it's like Santa takes over instead of Akane. I think that's a little like, oh, but yeah. By the way, Hannah, remember when you meant how you mentioned that we hear water all the time yet can see no water? Yo, true. I, I, I said it a few times that I either thought we were, I don't remember exactly how I phrased it, but I was like, I don't think we're on a boat or we're on a, or I said like, we are on a boat, but it's like a, like a movie like a movie lot built boat. Like it's not real. <laughs> I actually like that she doesn't go into the crazy generic. Uh, she doesn't go into the generic crazy antagonist route. I don't think she necessarily has to be crazy nor, I, I, don't, I don't consider her an antagonist, uh, but I think you can have a bad person on the good side team. And I think she's far more generic without that. Yes, I definitely said swimming pool because I was like, I think it's like, I don't remember exactly what I said, but I said like, I think that they've like built a boat into a swimming pool because we couldn't feel movement. Like you can feel on a boat that you're moving because it's a boat, um, but because they couldn't feel like they never said anything about feeling rocking or feeling anything. I was like, maybe we're just in a pool, which means that you can like put water into it as much as you would want. But that was pretty wrong, I guess. I have a headcount about that, actually. What if she's not fully there because of the paradox, so she can't fully interact with the world, which is why Sans has to do the physical prep stock financing shit, because she's flickering in and out of existence. Um, Maybe. I don't know. I can't really... I don't know how I can... Like, headcanons are cool, but that doesn't... I can't make that feel better about how the story was told. You know? So I'm like, oh yeah, I like that idea a lot, but I would have preferred to have seen Akane be like, get on the floor, Ace. Get in the trunk. How did he end up in the trunk? I don't really know, but that's fine. Cool nails, thank you. They, they shiny. Trying to ensure you're in survival is a pretty motivating reason to act, but she does so much evil and shady stuff to do it. I mean, yeah, she does absolutely evil stuff to do it. Like, I don't think you can say it's not super evil <laughs> or like at least pretty fucked up. Um, she uses, like she uses Junpei and manipulates him into a game in which his survival is at risk for her own survival. Um, 
and like with time loops i think it's like i or not time loop but time fucky wucky stuff i don't know how you can like talk about the i don't know how it works <laughs> but i just have to like nod and go along with it a little bit um because it's like she can't do that if she like she can't manipulate you and pay if she doesn't survive so therefore she has to survive so therefore she has to do the things that she has to do in order to get Jim Pei to help her. And then, but... Uh, I don't know. I really love Akane. I love that it does bad... Uh, that it does bad things and it's justified, but doesn't meet, try to seem like a good person or ask for forgiveness. She's making choices and going with it for her survival. I like the selfishness of it. Yeah, it's very selfish. And then also the fact that like they go off in their own car and all that stuff, like she doesn't even stick around to talk to Junpei. I like the selfishness of it and the prospect of that selfishness also somewhat being a result of it done for a younger version of herself. Like is there a divide in how she sees herself? Does she truly see herself in that little girl? Oh, like... Like, is she having to... Is it like she's acting for... Like... Hold on, I need the music to go quiet for a second. Like, is she acting for... Like, does she see her nine-year-old self as a different person to herself and she's acting for the nine-year-old? Or 12-year-old? I don't remember how old she's meant to be. She's acting for this other version of herself that she can't even see as herself anymore because it's like they're two separate things on the timeline. Is that kind of what you mean? So is it, it it's like, is it selfishness because she's acting for someone else, even though that is her? How much Louis she acts, how much is like grandstanding theatre for her younger self? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, that's actually really cool. That's a cool one. I like that. And like, how does she herself think of it? Yeah, no, I like that a lot. Cause like, it's very easy for us to be like, that's selfish, but she literally doesn't like understand that. Like she literally cannot comprehend that as herself. That's cool. I like that. I don't get how Joan Pei is living his ordinary life and bam kidnapped and rekindling puppy love into this epic love story he would do anything for her like as soon as he gets out he just wants to find her. We talked about this one stream where I was like because I have never had a child <laughs> like a childhood crush I just don't understand it and then some people were saying like yeah when they had childhood crushes and then met them years later that like crush did just like come back immediately. Um, so to be honest on that front, I don't know. I can't... I don't get it. But... I also don't get how... Did Junpei just forget that she... Like, oh no, because she said she was mo Did she say she was moving? I think she said she was moving. I was going to say, how did Junpei just not, like, just forget that she fucking died? But he, I think she moved. So then he didn't know. So that's okay. Thanks for all talk right now. I have only just realized that bad writing in media has made me a much lazier thinker. Like when you get used to experiencing plot holes and questions being unanswered by anything remotely logical, you stop bothering to theorize because it's no longer fun, just frustrating. That's why I really love playing Great Ace Tiny and watching 999. These games treat the player like an actually smart person who pays attention and I like being respected. Ah, that's really cool. I think 999 does respect you for the most part and then the end I think it goes out the window but that's just my opinion I guess um I will say I also think that the last puzzles are kind of dumb like no offense to Akane I know she was in a very stressful situation and I couldn't figure it out for a long time but password? Okay. <laughs> right. 
She was also 12. Yeah, I, my point stands. <laughs> I don't think, I feel like she can spell password at 12. Password wasn't the password though, the password was nine. Yeah, I feel like that's even easier. <laughs> I think the Sudoku would have been a lot better because I'm like, if you give a fr pretty hard Sudoku to a 12 year old, I think that's pretty challenging. And also I hate how like the whole game, it's all like numbers, numbers, numbers. And then the last game is like, just figure out the word password. Whereas the game is 999, you end the game with a Sudoku, which is nine cube, nine line, nine square. Like what? That would be, that would, why? Why would you change that? That's like, that's, that summarizes every- what? I don't get it. I don't get it. That would- nine, it's literally the 999 game. Why did they change it? I don't get it. <sighs> In retrospect, I hope you still had fun playing the game. I really feel faith through with the chat. Oh my god. No, it was such a fun game experience. I, I mean, I definitely have problems with the game, but that's kind of why I want to play VLR. And also, uh, play, like, this was one of the funniest freaking playthroughs we've ever had, I think. Like, Snunks will go down forever in history. I, like, it was such a fun playthrough. Um, I had an absolute blast. Um, and I hope it was fun for you to watch. I, I, I hope you all had fun even when I was just losing my mind. Um... And I can't wait for VLR to be similarly insane and meme -y and and stupid. Um, so, so I mean, the fact alone that I'm playing VLR is is hopefully sign enough that I really did enjoy a, the vast majority of 999. It was pretty much the post credit scene that I was like. <sighs> Jones, given everything you said, I think you'll like Villa more. I'm excited. I mean, I'm very excited to see where, where we go with them. And like, I will say the unhingedness of 999 is probably like my favorite thing about it. I think like the, the, uh, the way that people talk is so utterly ridiculous and nonsense. And I like love that. I think it's so funny. I think it's so good. And for the most part, I loved all of the puzzles in the game. Uh, I thought the puzzles were really fun. Uh, I like the whole escape room thing. Um, the characters, like I said, I think the characters are so solid. I think the characters are like, they, def they don't reach like crazy highs or anything, but like they're all really solid characters. Um, and they don't go into like dumb and stupid tropes. Um, which I respect massively. Um, yeah, there's so many good things about 999. It's great. It's great. Ace was great. And Ace! Ace made me use the freaking soundboard on my mixer because he's that good. It should have been me, not him! It should have been me. Should have been me. Um, there you go. I don't know. Um, so I don't really know what my ranking for 999 would be. Maybe like a 7 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10 or something. But yeah, I don't know. It's. I had a good time. I'm excited for VLR. I'm excited. I think my thoughts on 999 will continue to go up. But. Nine out of nine! Out of nine! We are. We are getting closer to AI Somnium Files, which was on the list of contenders for me to suddenly decide to play today. But I decided that that made less sense than VLR. <laughs> I was just like, maybe I could just play AI tomorrow. Um, the shock I felt. AJ, I'm so sorry. AJ, once, can we please get the final claps for AJ for dealing with me because... I, 
I would just be going through my backlog as AJ was like trying to talk me through something. And I was like, what if I just played AI Insomnium Files? And AJ would be like, I, I, I guess? And I would just be like, nah, nah, I can't play that. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think Date, okay, for, I mean, I, I've just said about how 989's characters are all very good, but none are like crazy strong for me. Date from, we're not gonna talk about him because we don't want spoilers, but Date, I know, I know it's gonna happen. I know, I know, I know it's gonna happen and it's gonna be bad. I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna hate him, but in a way that is actually pure love. I know. I know that about myself. I also have a feeling he's going to be number one. My prediction is he's going to be either number one on my tier list or there's going to be an insane random person who has far less screen time and is just like kind of in the background. But I'm going to be so fucking obsessed with them that they're going to be number one. And I'm going to be like, I can't explain it. They're just. And that's my prediction. Date who makes me tremble and throw up. I can only imagine the effect he's going to have on that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Date is the gift that keeps on giving us something to laugh about. Um, right, should we play? Is it time to VL? Are you ready? That was good, right? That was good, right? VL, are you ready? You got it? That was pretty fun. BL! I mean VL. BLR! Boys love reward? If you get all the endings, you get the secret gay sex ending with 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 two members of your choice. Or what? Uh anyway, let's play the game. Boys love run pay. Boys do love run pay! <laughs> the boys do Oh, sorry, I just remembered one of my criticisms about 999, but we're in a happier place now. <laughs> we can move along. Anyway, um, uh, boys love run pay. Launch Virtue's last reward. Oh, is this gonna work? Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Together. Very low-key romance, let's go. I love low-key romance. Gonna show up? Why? <laughs> Why do people? <laughs> we're, here, we're here, baby. We're here. Why do people? Oh God. Um. Okay. <laughs> do I need to move the camera? Probably. Oh, I was on the other side, wasn't I? Right. I remember. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. I moved the camera for uh, the Akaza. <laughs> Why do people, why? Why do people make video games about morphogenetic fields and then accept me, expect me to understand? Why? <laughs> okay. And photosynthesis, god damn photosynthesis. <laughs> that comes up in this game, <laughs> we're screwed. For, I don't know how to say it. For, I don't know. Why? 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 Prosopagnosia. Prosopagnosia? Prosopagnosia. 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 Okay. I see all the options again. Yeah, sure. Um. Okay, are we ready, everybody? I hope your minds are prepared because they're about to be scrambled, probably. I wonder if I play as Junpei. I didn't even think about this. Are we in another nonary game? I mean, this is still under the nonary game. OK, 
Okay, let's start. Uh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, here we go. This game is a work of fiction. Really? Christmas? 2028? Oh no. Sigma. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Damn it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. Wait. Where the hell am I? What is this? Some kind of nonary game? <laughs> Looks like an elevator, but... Isn't that obvious? Goal! Gah! <laughs> Who the hell are you? Uh... Hello? Great. Okay, <laughs> let's try a different tack here. Where the hell are we? Also, while we're at it, why? Why? <laughs> no response. Are you always this friendly or did I kick you while I was sleeping? Damn. No luck there either, huh? I'm plenty friendly. Magi Marie dropping by to see what the cryptic stream and in the man. No Yakuza? Good. He just had a break for food, and I miss that week, and I haven't finished VLR. Enjoy it all. Thank you so much, Rayon. I hope Yakuza is most peak. I I couldn't I couldn't do Yakuza 5 to I couldn't do that to Yakuza chat, you know. Thank you so much for the hundred bits. Thank you. What? I said I'm plenty friendly. Is that I guess? Or does she just sound like a robot? But it sounds like I guess. Yes? We're so back, baby. Persona 3. We're so back! <laughs> I guess spin! Hey, looks like you can talk after all. So, let's try this again. Where are we? Don't know. Huh. Well, I'm sad that the sprites are gone. But that's okay. Well, could be worse, I guess. You could have said, actually, we're stuck in a booby-trapped elevator in the bowels of a top-secret government facility where they conduct grotesque human experiments. Right. Back to the first question, then. Who are you? By which I mean, what's your name? Sigma. Wait, isn't that my name? Cute. What? That's my name. Oh. I'm asking you what... Wait, a second. How do you know my name? I haven't met you before, have I? No, you haven't. I don't have any idea who you are. But... But what? How could you know my name if you don't have any idea who I am? How the hell am I supposed to know? I just know it, okay? <laughs> hey, no need to bite my head off. It's just, you're not really making sense here. And you still haven't told me who you are. Shut up! Just back off, Grandpa! Grandpa? <laughs> Grandpa? Look, I just don't know, alright? It's just kind of... there. Like, I looked at you, and some part of my brain just said, that's Sigma. Is it the morphogenetic fields? <laughs> or is it something else? <laughs> Hold on a second. What do you think this thing is? Huh? This bracelet? Ah. 
See, you've got one too. They're pretty much identical. Carla's read millions of ABO fanfiction, she just knows. <laughs> she can just look at a person and assess who they really are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Where did they come from? It was on already when I woke up. I haven't figured out what it's for yet, though. Well, it doesn't seem like it's a watch, does it? No. It's just got a three and the word pair. Well, three is my lucky number, so that's... <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to get it off! Good luck. I spent a while trying to get mine off while you were napping. It's on pretty tight. It doesn't even have a clasp or anything. What about these buttons on the sides? I pressed them, but nothing happened. If you do right, left, right, left, right, left, does anything happen? <laughs> Not even a beep. Huh. Yeah, you're right. Nothing. Damn it! What the hell is going on here? Somebody better start explaining or... Hey, look! What? There's something on that screen over there. I am zero. And I'm finally going to achieve the Yu-Gi-Oh! game of my dreams! Wait, what? How are you feeling? Yeah, I don't know about this one. I don't know. <laughs> what? Okay, hello, bunny. That, I mean, people are saying bunny. I kind of thought it was like a weird looking llama. <laughs> I'm Zero the Third, the king of this kingdom! What? What the hell is that? A rat? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's a rabbit. I'm sure you've got lots of questions! It just seems silly to have a big old chit chat right now. So. I'm gonna give you a game to play! A game? Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it... They should have given it a tiny gas mod. So that you're so right! Imagine. That would have been cute. The Nunnery Game! Junko and Ashima, my zero. <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> uh, hey, hold on. Who the hell? All right. I forgot to tell you the most important thing. This elevator you're in? It's gonna fall in a few minutes. Oh, fine. Wait now. Why? To fall? Yes, indeed. So you better get moving! And you can't just say that, now I'm thinking it too. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Jinko and Ishima in rabbit form. I, I can't help it. I'll see you later. Have a nice trick! <laughs> yeah, yeah, see you next fall. That joke wasn't any funny at an elementary school. Oh, I get it. Trip and trick, huh? Don't tell me you're impressed. Oh, for the love of... Damn it. Damn it! God damn it! This is bullshit. This, that stupid rabbit didn't tell us anything! 
how are we even supposed to get out of here? <laughs> well, I guess whining about it isn't going to help anybody. We won't be able to get any answers if we can't get out of here. You with me? Come on, just nod or something. I don't want to die here any more than you. Let's go. Okay. Seek a way out! The first thing I see when I enter stream is a weird ass rabbit. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hopefully we'll see less of that. <laughs> the game consists of two sections, the escape portion and the novel portion. The goal of the escape portion is to escape from whatever room you're in, hence the name. First, click anything on the screen that catches your attention. You can change the camera angle by dragging the cursor. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh. When you see the word zoom in cyan in the top right corner of your screen, the game is in zoom mode. So it returns to the normal view, presses the escape key, drag down, middle click the cyan triangle. It's an icon that looks like an old person. Hmm. During an escape, you are given the opportunity to switch difficulty levels. If you get stuck, you can switch the difficulty level to easy by opening the menu. In easy mode, other characters will give you more hints. However, once you switch the difficulty to easy, you can't switch it back to hard until you finish that escape. When you start over in a particular escape or enter it for the first time, the difficulty level is automatically set to hard. We're still too early in the game to know who's in first place on Hannah's VLR list, but we do know who's at the bottom. <laughs> Huh? Why'd it light up? It didn't do anything earlier. Maybe that was because the game hadn't started yet. So you think this button does something? Dunno. Let's take another look at it. The button is lit. A control panel with an icon of an old person. Cool. What do you think this means? Hell of I know. It's just a bunch of pictures of babies and old people. I'm just giving her Igus's voice. And I think we're just gonna have to live with that. She's a robot now. It is what it is. Why don't you see if you can get it off the wall? Some things you come across and collect won't be stored with the rest of your items, and so they'll be put in the file. Just click the archive button in the menu and then navigate to the type of file. Try counting the numbers of babies and old people. Life would be infinitely happier if we could only be born at the age of 80 and... And... I don't know what that says. Um... Oh, and gradually approach 18. Tag yourself, I'm the old guy playing croquet at the bottom right. <laughs> He's having a good time. If I'm tagging myself, I think I'm this one. Just baby asleep. How would we birth 80 year olds? How do we birth children that we already birth? You know, like we gotta, we gotta stop. Okay, so I wonder if the elevator is the, the button is the amount of old people. One, two, three, four. Well, how do I define what's old? Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? I think. If you need help with the controls, click the menu. Okay. A fire extinguisher? What's something like this doing in an elevator? Isn't that obvious? It's here in case there's a fire. Whoa! You're saying that th there's some sort of thing in here that'll start a fire? It's not out of the question. Come on, don't do that. I wouldn't be able to do anything if I think there's something in here that'll set us on fire. 
fire extinguisher. If only it could extinguish my fear that there will be a fire. He's got jokes! He's got jokes! <laughs> so why are these coloured like this? I love that I guess is with us for another game. You thought we were three of P3, but we never will be. <laughs> oh, hey, the this end is loose. Can you take it off? Let's see. Why? Probably the handle of some kind of tool. The grip is red. Nice. The first game had jump paint. Whoa, I didn't even put that together. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you something. Do you want to see something that I got and it's P3 related? I forgot to show you it, but I'm, I am love it so much and it's P3 related. So if you were, I don't know. Hold on. I forgot to show you. It's very special to me. Look at it. It's the best. Isn't it beautiful? It's the final dog walk and Shinji and Fuku is in a cage. And look at Ken and Aki and look at the ladies and look at Goro and Aegis and look at Blue. Oh, I love it so much. I love them. Where do you get that? I got it on Etsy. I got it on Etsy. There was only like three left when I bought it. So I don't know if there'll be so many left, but yeah. It's so beautiful. I love everything about it. Isn't it just beautiful? Like the amount of detail and Shinji being there. Oh, it just, I love it. I love it so much. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Focusing up now. It is the cutest. It makes me so happy. I kind of want an evoker for cosplay or as a display piece. AJ has one. I think like certain countries have laws about like, uh, or at least in the UK, fake guns have to have like a orange tip at the very, on the barrel. But um, so maybe check depending where you're you're at. But you can like you can three D print them and stuff. I'm now a mobile mod like Mega while my PC is at the PC doctor. Oh my gosh, poor PC. I hope he receives the most CPR and, and, and IV fluids and such. AJ, what's your persona? True, AJ, what is your persona? This screen that's just appeared is called the item screen. Uh, to access the item screen, during the escape, click the item icon, which you can find in the top left corner. The item. Oh, let's see how many babies there are. One, two, three, four. Surprise baby. That's probably wrong, but that's fine. <laughs> These look like instructions for using a fire extinguisher. <laughs> yes, but what it actually says seems weird. Yeah. Pull out the key, put the key in the lock and twist it. Okay. Let's go get the... Let's go get it. Nice. That's the fire extinguisher pin. You'll find two types of items in the game. Hints in item form and items you can use in something. In order to use an item, click whatever you want to use it on while holding the item. I've heard Etsy's getting oversaturated by AI stuff nowadays. Oh no! <gasps> Frick, that sucks. I guess just double check who you're buying from and stuff. There's also a, a surprising amount of scam artists on Etsy. So check that as well. It's rough out there. It works perfectly smooth. Whatever item is in the front of the item screen is the item you are currently holding. A picture of it will also appear in the item icon when, it's, when you're holding it. Oh. 
This looks like a case for a fire extinguisher. Let me see if I can open it. Damn. No good. <laughs> Is it locked? <laughs> looks that way, yeah. So <laughs> we might have to change the icons. <laughs> Wait. Sigma, I think you might have what we need to open this. <laughs> you mean this pin from the fire extinguisher? Yeah. I think it might fit in that keyhole. Come on, give it a try. Sure. Hmm. Looks like it worked. Excellent. Okay. Time to see what's inside. So please tell me someone in this game is named Sigma. Uh, two people in this game are called Sigma, apparently. So... It's pretty cool. <laughs> oh wait, oh no, no, no. I, I don't know why I read her name as Sigma. She was saying that I'm Sigma. No, there's only one person called Sigma. Sadly. Sorry. It's because I said, what's your name? And she said Sigma and then, uh, whatever. What's this? <laughs> Polyurethane packaging. There are a few pieces of metal in here. Four of them. They look like sockets for socket wrenches. <laughs> Each one has a different shape though. Yeah. Well, we might as well take them. Triangular tip. Empty. Handle. Triangular tip. Square tip. Pentagonal tip. Hexagonal tip. Excellent. Excellent. All right, what's this? <laughs> what the hell is this stupid thing? It's huge. It is. Is it an ATM? Hmm. I see. And do you think the safe down here is stuffed with cash? That would be nice. No, it wouldn't. We have bigger problems than money right now. Like, I don't know, getting the hell out of here. Well, you don't have to yell about it. I like that we're annoyed at each other. I, that's actually quite fun. I like that. There is a strange mysterious device to, on the far side of the elevator. Is Finch the Omegaverse representative of the mod team? I think my entire chat is the Omegaverse representation. Like, do you not see as soon as Sigma came onto screen, the amount of people who were like ABO, ABO, ABO? We have lived with Empreg too long in this stream. This whole chat is infested with ABO. They're where you least expect it. There is strange mysterious device on the far side of the elevator. There is a strange mysterious device on the far side of the elevator. <laughs> Et tu, Hannah? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is what it is. A square metal box looks, uh, sorry. <clears throat> a square metal box looks like a safe. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what's inside. Something someone wants to keep safe. What else would you put in a safe? Well, what do you think it could be? A cracker. What the hell's so important about a cracker? Okay. How about a Thai deposit box? A th a what? What does that even mean? Let's just try and open it. How? Well, there's some kind of pad on the front with a 3x3 three three grid, right? Nine? Nine? Ah! I'm guessing that's how you open it. Right. Let's give it a shot, then. Artemedia. <laughs> no! Anna's voice actually makes it so much better. <laughs> Each escape room has a safe somewhere. These safes have two passwords, one for escaping and one for a hidden file. Persona 3 documents. When you open the safe using the escape password, you'll get a key that will allow you to leave the room you're in. If you open the safe with a hidden file password in hard mode, you'll get a gold file. If you do the same in easy mode, you'll get a silver file. The gold and silver files contain supplementary facts and background information that will give the novel sections added depth that they are not necessary for escaping. In order to escape and continue the game, you must open the safe with the escape password. Memo. This is the greatest thing ever! I'm 
gonna have sticks for you? Oh my goodness. Under no circumstances should you read the golden files. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Have any drawing requests? Um, remember the elevator is crashing. Ten. Okay. I don't like it. Um. Hannah doodling on the keypad instead of escaping the death game. <laughs> Akihiko is ripped. Is this not canon canonical? I don't know. I, I think he trained, so I'm not sure though. <laughs> Can you give him an iPad? Hold on. That's him going, I'm going to fetch over here so this is a boss! So this is a boss, you're proud of me finally! I trained for this. I <laughs> hope that's just a good thing. There's so much focus in your eyes. Do you know how hard I am trying? I didn't know you drew, Hannah. I can draw far better. 
Can I make an art request, Mr. Emma? Absolutely, of course. Yes, what would you what would you like? I can I can do my best. I don't know if I have the art that I've done on my OBS right now. Otherwise I would show you. But I, I have I have drawn things. I don't know, someone can link it from Twitter if you want to see things I've actually drawn. <laughs> the tree okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. This is the tree where Nishiki said, help me! And Kuru said, wow, this is a fun time with my best friend Nishiki. <laughs> I think even if the game doesn't acknowledge it, we all know you won the nonary game for this. Thank you so much. I think so too. Sigma's gonna keep on doodling even as the elevator is plummeting to the ground. <laughs> um, Hannah P. Five art. Piano is good at art. Thank you so much, Drixit. Yes, he, there, there's some art that I've drawn. Um, there's an Akechi drawing. I also drew Edelgard. I drew... I don't know, I don't draw that often, but... I never got the last one out of nine, so what are your final thoughts on the game? We talked about it for like an hour at the beginning of stream, so I, I would say probably go there. But uh, uh yeah. I I really didn't like the post credit scene, um, and I felt like there were a bunch of problems I had with the game, but overall I had a really good time, so that's good. The Persona 3 art is so good too. Thank you. Hello Sunfell, how are you doing? Anna does in fact make incredible art on her old Twitter. <laughs> I would love to see your artistic vision of official pathetic man James Sunderland, MS Paint style, stick figure style. Okay. This is James Sunderland from the hit game Silent Hill 2. This is James Sunderland from the hit video game Silent Hill 2. And he's on a skateboard. Where's Pyramid Head? He's on the back of the skateboard. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, I did draw Mari from Amori. I did. I did. Wife? He forgot his wife. What about Jin or Pegasus? I'll draw Pegasus. Horrifying. But I guess Pegasus can be pretty horrifying. So like we're starting again. <laughs> okay, this is this is Pegasus for real this time. No, this is Pegasus for real this time. That's Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh, in my mind. <laughs> the hell with VLR, let's play Pictionary! Say Yu-Gi-Boy! Yu -Boy. Thank you so much, Billy! <laughs> Yu -Gi -Boy. Your turn, Yu -Gi -Boy. Yu -Gi -Boy. No thanks, Yu -Gi -Boy. Thank you so, so, so much, Julia, for getting two subs. Thank you, Yugi Boy. I've gone inside and touched grass, Yugi Boy. Thank you so much, Julia. Okay, do you want to get? Do you want to play one game of Pictionary? I will draw a fictional character, and you have to guess who the fictional character. Is. <laughs> Apart from its challenge level, impossible because it's stick figures. <laughs> Okay, I need to figure out a character. I need to pull up a character. Okay, I've come up with a character, okay? Let's see who will win. Okay, are you ready? No one's got it yet. Foop's got it! Foop's got it! It's a Dachi! It's a Dachi, baby! It's a Dachi! <laughs> it's a Dachi, baby! It's a Dachi! I don't know why I enjoy the look of this face so much. <laughs> I almost said Fuka. I was trying to trip people out. I was trying to make it like the hair kind of Fuka like to because Fuka and him have the same hair. I was like, yeah, maybe I can try it. <sighs> they go to the same hairdresser, they do. Um Okay, do you want to do one more and then I'll actually play the game? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do one more. Okay, get ready for this one. We're going, we're going mostly face on this one. Okay, this is not going to plan, but that's fine.
but it's good. <laughs> this is Gojar. It's Gojar. It's definitely Gojar. <laughs> I was gonna say Hajime and then I saw the smile and I said, never mind. <laughs> I hate what I've drawn. It's Nagito, and I hate it. I just wanted him to look crazy. There we go. That's better. 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 <laughs> right, we gotta end this. Right. Okay. Let, can we focus up, everyone? Please. Come on now. This is nonsense. Damn. No luck. <laughs> Well, of course not. You're not going to get far, just guessing. <laughs> we need to find a clue. I was gonna say Megami. Yes, 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 yes. of VLR cannot possibly reach the heights of this one screen. I don't know if we should even bother with the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, this is the very first room? Oh. Yeah. I got a little... I got a little distracted. Um... Why don't we just put the girl on top of our shoulders and unscrew the top? I feel like that's a... That's a start, you know? Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, wait. Okay, right. Combine yellow with triangle. Excellent. Right. A yellow socket wrench. Okay. What if you now do this? All right, let's just give this yellow one a twist. Good job, Sigma. What if we make a VLR Pictionary a points reward for this playthrough? <laughs> We'd never get anything done. It would be so bad. I don't even care about the plot of this game. Uh, I just- this is an art stream. <laughs> huh, looks like you got it off. I just got home, I see we are being funny. I might- we- we might have done Pictionary for- I don't know how long we were doing Pictionary for, I don't know. We- I don't know. We just did drawings for quite a while. It's fine. Alright! That's the green ball off. Yeah, good job. You're a re regular mechanic. Thank you. Long enough for me to make dinner. Hi Marcus, what's up? <laughs> Excellent! That's the red bolt gone. Right, so I've got all the bolts off now. Ready? Ready? I'm gonna open it. What are you asking me for? Okay, okay, geez. Famously anti-fun streamer Louise Hanna was recently was <laughs> seen recently in a silly goofy me. <laughs> what? Is it the fun game that I- there are a number of mini games you will play during an escape. Controls and rules are, will generally be given to you before a mini game begins, but some start without giving you instructions. If you can't solve a mini game, just quit! If you keep trying, though, the other characters might start to give you hints. They'll only do this when you're playing an easier- What's 
What's this? It looks like some kind of maze. Do you think we're supposed to solve this? Probably. All right, I'm on it. He needs to move the green block from the top left to the blue square to the bottom, on the bottom right. You can move the green and red blocks up and down as well as sideways by clicking and dragging with the mouse. Okay. Oh, like all of them, damn, okay. So. Easy. Um, completed. Sweet, I did it. You're pretty good. <laughs> this is kid stuff. I could do it with my eyes closed. Oh, look at this. Huh? Something came out of the box. Oh yeah. Is this a memory card? A, B. O. A green memory card, huh? That took me like five times longer. How? The way 999 Prime test go. I'm just, I'm just so like, I've decided like to just get on Uchikoshi's level. I've just lost my mind and now I can do puzzles. A green memory card, huh? We have the alpha betas locked in. <laughs> I got it from the maze. Okay. Thank you, maze. Goodbye. Wasn't there a thingy? Was it here? Was it was it here? Here, look, this. I've got a green memory card in my hand. Let's see what happens when I put it in. Hey, it turned on. Looks like this thing is working now. The screen is going with a strange light. Okay. Are we are we gonna do anything about it? Are we gonna are we gonna what? Sigma. Do I almost just called Jinpei? Are we gonna do anything? Okay, cool, right. Um I don't think I have the old and baby teeth numbers correct. Or else I feel like something would have happened. And nothing's happened. Try counting the number of babies and old people. One, two, three. Is this, is this, is she old? I feel like she's not. But what do we count as old? Is he old? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would say seven. I would firmly say seven. Oh my God, wait, can I draw now? Kiryu is a baby. He was always the dragon of Tajima. Wow! <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I feel like there are four babies. Did I put four in or did I put three? I did put four. Um, I would just like you to know that collecting vials in Bob while watching you doodle is being existed. <laughs> Thank you for collecting us vials. I'm gonna beat Lawrence by the end of the weekend, maybe, probably not. But maybe. Maybe. I don't know if I'm meant to do something with this. Um you just get green to save someone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, so do I not want to open the safes with a, in hard mode? Should I, should I just ignore these files overall then? Because I know I wasn't meant to look at the gold files. But should I just not look at them at all? You can open them, but don't look at them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
I like how earlier Hannah was talking about playing a short game and now she has a the doodle piano. <laughs> I was like, we'll zoom through this game, we'll get to Yakuza 5, and I'm like, wow, what oh. if instead I did so many drawings? We know that. <laughs> Golly, could you like help, man? I'm just asking. Like, if you could do anything. There's a little panel here with a keyhole. The opening in the center is covered with transparent plastic. I wonder if I can just force it open. Oh. Damn, no good. Stupid thing won't even budge. Trying to force it is pointless. We need to find another way out. Mm. I don't think I have got the babies correct. I think that's where we're going wrong. Try counting the number of babies and old people. Baby. 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 Maybe we could up it to like... Maybe the children are also babies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe. Life would be infinitely happier if we could be born at the age of 80. So maybe the babies are the old people because we're born at the age of 80. Does that? Life would be infinitely happier if we could be born at the age of 80. Is that what it's trying to say? Like, we swap it round? So then, like, one, two, so four old people and seven babies? Oh. Oh. I don't know if that makes sense, but we're gonna go with it. Okay. Frick. Okay. I thought that was kind of a good idea. Um. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try that, I guess. But what is the contextual? No! The elevator's been falling for a long time, huh? so calm and peaceful. Um, well, this is the first puzzle and I'm already a little, um, hmm, 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 hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, let's count. Let's count. One, two, three, four. I would say this is an old person. These are all the people I would consider old people. And all the people I would consider babies. Do we have the first one 999 also took a while? To be fair, the first one in 999 took a while because I didn't look under one single pillow. Not because I couldn't do a puzzle. We're in the Millennium Tower, it takes a while for the elephant. <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven. We'll do a little eight, we'll do a little nine. Oh. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Dolly, where are you? Can you just help with anything? Can I click on those or no? Okay, no I guess. Do you have any items left? No. Um... I feel like we need 
me two memory cards or something. Carla's standing on your head so she's not in the way of the camera, so consider it. It's nice of her. Prospagnosia, but for telling babies apart from the elderly. <laughs> thing I have to do is this old people or can I put in that the bunny can I it, what, what's a bunny is that an adult yeah. <laughs> two yeah. is a bunny an adult yeah. cool there was one bunny on the screen and there were five I don't remember how many old people there were seven old people. There was one bunny, seven old people, and four babies. Okay, there was a bunny, there was... Okay, how many old people? Uh, middle people. Middle people? One, two, two. Okay, um... Um... I really think the old people Blue sticker looks like a grandpa using his cane for pole dancing. He is like throwing it back. Like that's not like a leaning over, that is like a throwing it back kind of move. Speed? Did something just beep? Did I click something? Or did something just happen? What just happened? Did things happen? Did things occur? What was that beep? Did it mean something? Did I just press something? Oh man. I think I just pressed something wrong. Polo took me a lot longer than I care to admit. I am going to be right there with you. Do I just know? I don't think I know what a baby is anymore. Maybe it's like... Maybe it's for people with canes. Okay, let's reevaluate. Okay, okay. You know what? Maybe it's not all old people. Maybe it's one, two three, potentially four, depending on if we count the croquet club as a cane. So let's go four babies, four, uh, four, four, okay, four, I don't even know. We're gonna do four uh, old people and then maybe the babies need to be clothed. <laughs> maybe this baby is a false baby. Okay, let's put in, let's put in four, Let's put in four on the old people side. I, I'm really hoping this is close to the answer. Four on the old people side, because it's four old people with canes, maybe. One, two, three, four. And then babies, we're gonna go one, two, two. Are there any fucking rabbits on this picture? I would say no. Okay, but let's try, let's try three. Let's try four. Okay, and then let's, let's take the, let's take the, the fake old person out and then we have three. Oh, oh. 
And th there are no bunnies. Zero bunnies. And there are two babies. There are three babies. There are four babies. There is one baby. There is two babies. Okay. There is three old people. There is four old people. There is one buddy. There's three old people. There's hell on earth. There's four people. I just got here, what's happening? I'm on the first puzzle and it's really confusing. <laughs> We're counting babies. I have a Megan hint if you lose the will to live. I will accept your Megan hint. I would love a Megan hint. Will to live is gone. I never even had it. <laughs> You're focusing on the wrong poster. Okay, the wrong poster. That's nice. Um, I don't know if there's more than one poster apart from this one. The wrong poster. What? The wrong poster. Okay, um, well, girl that I don't know the name of. It's been fun, but we're dropping to our death imminently, my friend. R. I. P. Wrong poster. Wrong poster. I don't. Can I? Can I rip? Can I rip off the stickers? They're faking it. An old man. Hey, Sigma. Do you remember seeing a couple of dried-up old farts? Okay. Do you remember seeing a couple of dried up old farts in here somewhere? <laughs> That's not very polite. You should just call them old men or old women or something. Whatever. Do you remember anything? Yeah, that poster. But it's the wrong poster. <laughs> it's a baby. Hey, have you seen a baby in here? Goo goo. Sorry, another baby. Stop screwing around and think. Don't you remember seeing some babies? Hmm. He fully just goo gooed at her, man. This is some kind of mouse icon. It's a rabbit. How many times do I have to tell you? Does she have pro 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 pro? Does she have photosynthesis for, for animals? It's a rabbit. How many times do I have to tell you? You think there might be some kind of connection with that zero three guy we just saw? Three. Three. I just got what happened to you after the answer. <laughs> She's very sad. <laughs> She's very sad now. She's not doing well. What's the digital root of Rabbits. Megan, I would like another hint. I don't understand. <laughs> what is the digital root of the fake baby? If you were a fake baby, what would your digital root be? And What is the other poster directing you to do? Cow. What do you mean other poster? What? The, the, this one?
I don't know what the answer is when I played this recently. <laughs> it's over. It's over before it's regard. That one. Uh, I, uh, that one I already did. I got the thing out of this. I did this. I put it in the key. I twisted it. Extinguish the fake babies. We're putting the children back in the incinerator and we have a fire extinguisher to save them! Wow. Or else is there a keyhole? Uh, on the thing. But I don't have a key anymore. As far as I know. This is a keyhole. That's nice. Um... Go to sleep and have a coffee. Why are we fighting and uh, or extinguishing fake babies? Well, you know, after the 999, we decided we decided it was time. We gotta we gotta pick up where Ace fell. Also, I hope your coffee's yummy. Hi, I just got here. What a friendly room we're in. Isn't it lovely? Get ready, because we're going to be here for the next three hours. <laughs> the children yearn for the incinerator. <laughs> Frankie, thank you. Check my... Oh. How are we doing? How's everything going? Good. Not okay? Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> I was like, wow, a raid! And then I saw Checkmate and I was like, oh! <laughs> Ooh. Um, thank you so much for the follow, Rogue. Thank you. I am distraught. We love to see it. Oh my god, he finished, Persona? Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. How long have you been in this room so far? Um, like an hour and 20 minutes. I did the finish. Congratulations. It's so beautiful. God, I was about, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm restraining myself so much, but like the, the Persona fan inside me is just like, what are you going to do? Are you going to do Persona 3? How are you, how are you going to do Persona 3? What's your Persona? Hello, do you like Persona 3? Do you want Persona 3? Why don't you say Persona 3? <laughs> but, you know, you can definitely like go through the Persona 5 feelings first. That's probably healthy and good. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for the follow, Pleasant Cat. Will you be playing Reload? <laughs> I love 3, I can't wait for her to start. I recently just finished 3. And it ruined my life, and it's my favourite Persona of all time ever. And if you don't want Persona character spoilers, look away right now. Look away, look away, look away. Last chance, look away. I got this the other day, and it means the world to me. And I love them so much. And they just are my everything. I treasure them immensely. They are my favorite personas ever. <gasps> Hi, Crystal! I think every single one of these characters is the best character ever made. They are the greatest ever. I love them so much. I feel so cool and normal about them. Streamer, why are you playing Persona 3 FES when Reload? That's the remake as well. No! No, not this. I've been holding. I was a, I was the a dangerous opposite where I heard that Persona 3 Reload was coming out and I was like, okay, now it's time to play Persona 3 FES. <laughs> this is my moment. It's time. Um, but I hope you enjoy Reload so much. How's VL so far? Um, it's pretty good. We, I mean, I, I, I've literally just seen this room and I, and that's kind of it. 
So... Yeah, um, <laughs> aside from that, we're doing great. Basically, I found out that I can draw, um, and that hasn't really helped anything because I just keep drawing on everything. It's great. VLR is a great art program. <laughs> we were playing Pictionary for a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. Um, do you want more specific hint? Yes, please. That does what it do, Yugs. That does what it do. That does what it do. Kugaluche! I wish I could Yu-Gi-Oh this room to death. I'd send it to the Shadow Realm, and then I'd win. Is there any sort of timer? Luckily not. We were told that we had to be quick because, um, because, <laughs> because the, that the, ele the elevator was about to drop uh, and kill us, but it hasn't happened yet. The old person and babies are what you first thought. Think of the rabbit. How many rabbits are there? Oh, um, Okay, let's re-put everything in, I guess. Um, one, two, three, four. Baby dwagon! Four baby dwagons. Enjoy your luck, Samantha. Uh, there are seven old people, maybe. Oh, there we go, okay. Hey, Sigma, did you just hear a noise? What noise? Um, I think it was over here somewhere. ABO! That's a memory card. It came out of the control panel, remember? Yeah. It's red. Yeah. It's got eyes. He's got eyes! You'll find two types of items in this game. Hints in item form and items you can use in some way. In order, whatever I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me this, I'm pretty sure, but thank you. Fuka? I guess. Blue. What the heck is this? Maybe it's some kind of password. A password? You got a notepad or something? Huh? Uh, uh, not really. Then you'll just have to remember this. You think you can handle that? Uh, yeah, of course. I'm always remembering shit. Oh, I mean, let's look at it now. Okay. What's it, where did it say it was? Uh, oh. Moon star sun. 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 Wow. Ha. That's it. Come up with a new recipe. You did it. Good job. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> okay, so I click on you, but I can't read you. To see what's inside, visit the archive and navigate to the red secret tab. Goal file contains supplementary facts and... Da -da -da -da. Okay, so, um... What now? Oh, B. Um. Wow. Has yeah. Sigma had any small waterfall moments yet? He did say goo goo. Like, she said, are there any babies in the room? And he just went goo goo, gaga, which I found quite fun. How many rabbits are on the poster? Zero. Escape. <laughs> There it is again. It's right here. 
That's the memory card that came out of the control panel. It's blue. Okay. Sun, sun, moon. Sun, sun, moon. Sun, sun, moon. Ah, oh, this isn't what it showed us last time. Hmm. A different password. Sun, sun, moon. Sun, sun, moon. Sun, sun, moon. Sun, 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 moon. How does that work? It's like on a little wheel. Huh? That's odd. It opened with this password too. Hmm. Maybe it has two types of passwords. Look, it has different stuff in it now. Yeah, you're right. It's got a false back. See, it can just flip around. Kind of like those hidden passages in mansions and stuff. So if you put in a different password, you get different stuff. I think so. Right, well, that's enough of that. Grab the stuff. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Is this a key? Hey, it is a key. We found it. Awesome. Now hurry up and use it. Okay. Yes, sir. Thanks so much, Rogue, for the follow. Thank you. You ready? I'm gonna put the key in. You don't need to ask me every time you're going to do something. Just hurry it up. Right, right, I know. Here goes. Stop talking and do it. Yes, it unlocked. Hmm. So now we just have to open this panel. Once you leave this elevator, the null section of the game will begin. For more information, go help. Are you ready? Just do it! Alright, alright. Message received. Here we go. Three, two, one, and push! Several cutscenes will play in sequence. Oh, it opened a hatch in the ceiling. What? Why does an elevator have a ceiling hatch? Escaped on hard difficulty in VLR achievement. Alright, it's open. Now, let's get the hell out of here. Ah, thank you for the follow. This man has never heard of me. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Oh yeah? Oh yeah, I guess it's a little high for you, huh? <laughs> I'd say that's at least six feet, maybe more. And I'm at least six foot four, so... That's just what it's like being tall. Things are just easier for us. Alright then, climb up on my shoulders. Your shoulders? Yeah, that's right. Why? Something wrong? My big muscles and my tall frame intimidating you? What? what? What's that look supposed to mean? What do you think I'm gonna do? This person looks like that meme with the blue eyed person with their arms. <laughs> like, freaking. Rio G. <laughs> do I even have that image to. Oh no, it'll be on my Persona 3 one. Do I have it? This is gonna be a risky game of just clicking a random image and seeing if it's maybe correct. I think it's this though. Come on! I'm just trying to be rational here. No ulterior motive, hand to God! Not like I'm hoping to get my face sandwiched between a girl's bed. thought. Okay. I knew it! You sick bastard. But I was just kidding. I would hate getting my face sandwiched between a girl's bed. Why? That would be just... 
Right, look, I'm just trying to get us out of here. You got any brilliant ideas that don't involve your thighs? Cease. Fine. On your knees. <laughs> what? You're a little tall for me to just jump up on your shoulders. And I'm certainly not going to give you the satisfaction of making me climb. So kneel. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. There. Ready. Bring it on. <laughs> Thanks. A little step up is just what I needed. What? Wait, what are you gonna do? I think she's just gonna stand with him, right? Quiet. Oh, okay. Here we go. So we had fun in 999 not being weird <laughs> to that account. Hey, you know what? Sigma's just learning things about himself that he didn't previously know. And I'm all for learning what he's like, you got you gotta learn what you're into, and that's fine. He's just learning in a very public manner for all of us winners. Whoa! Look at her fly. Holy shit. She can fly? How in the hell? Oh wow, she actually did fly, I guess. All right, give me your hand. She's scary, man. I miss the sprites. All right. Give us, uh, all right, give me a hand. What? Oh, uh, what the heck are you? Well, I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman or Spider-Man or Aquaman or Merman or a Wolfman. I'm not a Brahmin or Common or Ramen. I'm not a Cayman either, so you don't really need to worry about anything. <laughs> Let's take over proof and together. <laughs> My name is Fi. Hi Fi. I guess you could say. Hi Fi. I am no man. Okay, what does that mean? Just come on. One of these days, Witch King. What does any of the things that she say mean? What? And why? <laughs> Two milkmen go comedy. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> What's up with this place? Sure doesn't look like an elevator shaft. Some kind of warehouse, maybe. Or a hangar. Milkman rage! Milkman rise! <laughs> Milkman fuckers, where are you at? So we were in an elevator that doesn't elevate? Yeah. It wasn't going to go anywhere. When that rabbit said it was gonna fall, he was just screwing with us? So it would seem. Then why? Forget it. Look. More people. We've got... Uh... Kanji. We've got Ken. We've got... Haru. We've got... Um, a Professor Layton character, and we've got that's Alice. I've decided that's that's Alice. Um, done. That is the cast of VLR. Looks like an old guy, a young man, two girls, and a kid. They're all wearing bracelets. Probably safe to assume they're trapped here too. How can you see? <laughs> All right, well, let's go say hi then. <laughs> I wish he had a voice. I don't know what his, like, personality is. <laughs> right, okay. Um... Pant, pant, pant. Hey, hey there. Any of you guys know what the hell's going on here? No, we don't. 
I haven't been out here much longer than you. They grabbed you too, huh? Is this always up with Kanji? <laughs> Kanji, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. It was a jerk. I'm sorry. <laughs> Grabbed? Oh, yeah. You know in The Sims, when Simmers make jokes with each other and say something like Bahamiputa? Glash! I imagine that it directly translates to Two Milkmen, Go Comedy! <laughs> oh yeah, I got in my car! <laughs> I went to start the engine, and then there was this white smoke. I think we all shared that particular experience. Oh my god, she's got a bird in a cage. Do you think that means something? The smoke seems to be some kind of general anesthetic. When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. He's my favorite character. Look at this guy! Who is he? <laughs> Hello, I'm Ken. I'm your what? All five of you are in one elevator. No! Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator, but... Stop! Wait, which one of you is Dio? Dio? Oh my god. That would be me. This little guy here is Quark. <sighs> no! Oh, we're in Persona 3. We're, we're, we're gone. We're, we're out of here. We're gone. His name is Quark? <laughs> This car is just loaded! Holy moly, okay. Liam's here. Liam's with Dio. We've got Quark. Quark is my favorite character. I. Nice to meet you, mister. Uh, I cannot believe that Parallel Universe, Aki and Ken ended up like this. Like, how did that happen, man? Uh, nice to meet you, too. So, what about the rest of you? Tenmi, OG, Alice, and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Okay. Correct, Correct. me if I'm wrong. Okay. Okay. Now, you've got it right. So, you'd be Tenmyoji right then, son? Then right, son? Yep. And Alice is... Me. She's Luna. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Um, hey. Nice to meet you too. What's she so nervous about? And you are? Right, uh, I'm Sigma. And this bundle of laughs is fun! <laughs> Good to meet you all, I guess. Say. That. Again. And this malnourished- <laughs> Saturday, Jeff. Thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I... I'm so unprepared for all of this. I hope you're doing so well, Jeff. I hope your weekend's good. I am losing my marbles. Better? Bastard. Um, are you two... <laughs> Not likely. That elevator was the first time we'd seen each other. I think. You think? Ugh, never mind. Forget I said anything. We met just now in that elevator. That's the truth. Uh, hey, uh, see your bracelet there? Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Hmm. And yours. Fi, right? 
Now let me have a look. Uh, I thought so. What? Quark, you and Dio show them your bracelets. Quark. They both say pear and have a number three. Just like Fire and I. No, wait, the color's different. Is this one looking to be just as wacky as the first? Potentially worse. Potentially more so. Just. Potentially. Ours are red. And yours are blue. Oh, sharp eye there. What about yours, uh, sir? Ten years, you right? Mm. Show him yours too, ladies. Solo. Solo. Oh. Red, blue, and green. They're different. You've all got threes, but your bracelets say solo. Right. You figure it out then. Two milkmen go comedy. <laughs> figure out what? Figure what out? Sigma and I are the red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. Each pair got put in the same elevator. But Tenmyoji, Alice, and Luna were all solos. So. So they got put in their own separate elevators? Mm. Okay, that's great and all, but what do pair and solo mean? Excuse me. Don't got the foggiest idea. Well, that's helpful. I don't know why we're split up like this either. Does anybody know what the three means? I can't tell if that's actually Haru's voice actor or if... She just looks like Haru and has a similar voice to Haru, and I just love Haru. It's... Maybe it has something to do with the game. Game? Oh, yeah! Yes, yes, yes! I'm calling it... The Nogami Game! You guys saw him too, right? <laughs> that, uh, rabbit thing. Yes. In the elevator. He said something about the elevator falling. Monokuma at home. <laughs> Jeff! <laughs> you understand now, that's all you needed. <laughs> Just the O. Other explain the others explained that they'd escaped from their own elevators. They'd gone around the warehouse -y room we were in and tested the doors. Unfortunately, it turned out they were all shut tight and impossible to open. They had been about to try and open this door, the one with a nine on it, when Fi and I appeared. So, any chance this one will open? You think we'd have done it last if there was? There's some sort of, I don't know, machine off to the left here, but... Well, give it a shot, why don't you? Sure. Okay. Whoa. This is error. It's crazy. Huh. Looks like force probably isn't going to work either. Damn. Well, I didn't really think that would work anyway. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. Thanks, King. All right, well, how about those three doors over there? I told you already. Ugh. Each one's got a digital lock on it. We can't pick the lock, and we can't break down the door. You sure about that? Why would I lie? Huh. Okay, are there any other ways out? No, unfortunately. Not that we've found, anyway. That's hard. I, I, either I'm... I, I don't, my brain, help me. Great. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. That could be mid- I, I'm losing it. I'm, I'm just playing Persona, but I, I, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> and that is... I was the first to escape. It's... <laughs> that means I know who was in which elevator. I watched all of you come out after all. That could be Mitsuru! I don't know, I'm scared. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just lost in a persona world and I will never leave. Well, I was in the one third from the right. Oh, maybe not. Tenmyoji was the second out. 
Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. Third was Luna. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes, that's the one. Dio and Quark were next. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's, right? Yeah, we did. And finally, the two of you were trapped in... The third elevator from the left. Wait, then... Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. Are you... Are you saying there's still someone in there? Wait, actually, I think I know who voice is. Hold on, I need Luna to talk. I think I've got it, though. I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Maybe we should go take a look. <laughs> yeah, good idea. I think I know who, who uh, Luna is. Hey! Anybody in there? If you can hear me, just, uh, I don't know, make some noise. Nothing. Hey, look at this! Ambidex. Worm. Is that some kind of card reader? Maybe it unlocks it or something. I thought it was Laura Bailey, but now I'm now I'm unsure. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. There's one next to each door. What do you think Ambidex room is supposed to mean? Here we say you can say yes or no. Is it Laura Bailey? I th I thought it was, and then I second guess myself. Yes. Okay. Wow. We really just are in the persona world, man. What's good? We're just personering. We're just personering. <laughs> Hi, Penguin. Amazing that they called the guy in one single- This- Dio? Dio- Dio- I don't know if anyone clipped it or anything. Dio said a single- Like, I think Dio just like huffed and I was like- <laughs> Well, it says it on all six of the elevators. Okay, is Alice Mitsuru- just, I, I don't think it is now. I've talked myself out of it, but I just need to know if it's not. No? Okay, good. Okay. Dio Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about. Oh, the Nonori game Ambidex edition? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think we really need to worry about that right now, though. You can get caught, really? I don't think you know Alice or anything, to be honest. Oh, okay, I'll give up on Alice then. Caught? Cool. You absolutely 100% know Quark. Okay, I'll try. I don't know if I'll get it though. We should be figuring out what's inside this thing. Anybody got, anybody got a key card? <sighs> nah, I got nothing. Not even dirt. He also sounds familiar, but I think he just sounds kind of like seven to me. So they've taken everything we were carrying? Wonderful. The rest of us dug through our pockets as well, but it was pretty obvious that Dio was right. My own were completely empty. There wasn't even any lint in the creases. Maybe there's no one in there. No, there is, there's gotta be. What makes you so sure? Huh? Uh, well, um... Look! It's opening! There was someone in there! Oh, wait. Is it? Wait. <laughs> what the? Who the hell? Clover! Oh, Clover? 
Are you okay? Clover! Wake up! What's going on here? Do these two know each other? What did you do to her? Nothing. She was like that when I woke up. I really wouldn't worry, though. She should be all right. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleeping. Then she hasn't woken up since they kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? Begging your pardon, but... I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Where are we? And who are you? Well, hold on. Uh, how about you tell us who you are first? You leave part of that box dressed like some kind of robot carrying an unconscious girl? And we don't got your word that you didn't make her that way. I think you owe us an explanation, pal. I'm... Hmm. Who am I? What? I don't remember. This is my new favorite character alongside Cork. They're my favorites. I don't remember anything. That's okay, huh? I have no idea where I am, who I am, even what day it is. If you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you share that information. Not knowing one's identity is... vexing. Vexing? Oh, yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. <laughs> Please. How are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this... this... this robot suit? We can't even see your face! You get him, Aki Kadeo. Are you gonna tell someone forced you into that thing? I assume so. It seems the most reasonable explanation. <laughs> when I woke up, I was wearing this... armor, I suppose you could call it. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. Look? That's an odd choice of words. I'm wearing a mask. How would you know how I look? You know what I meant, you smartass. Uh, hi, Clover. Oh, she's waking up. Hi. Clover, are you okay? Come on, talk to me. This whole lies. Where are we? Once Clover had woken up, Alice explained everything we knew so far. She listened silently until Alice mentioned Zero and the nonary game, and then her eyes went wide. What? I what? Uh, what? What is this expression at this news? No, that can't... Hmm. Um, you get used to it. <laughs> Fun fact, the game is bugged so Clover is always smiling. Ah, the blood drained from her face and she wrapped her arms tightly around herself. No, that can't be. <gasps> the enemy. What did she know? As Alice continued to console Clover, the rest of us turned to questioning like, the mysterious man in the mask. When did you lose your Leave memory? Leave alone! He seems nice. Why can't we just rip the mask off him and see what happens? That's a difficult question. I suppose when I was born, I don't remember anything of my life. We asked him everything we could think of. Birthday, address, occupation, family, childhood, but all he did was shake his head. I think he has generalized amnesia. It's a type of memory loss. People affected by it retain knowledge like language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned. Info dump. The first. Let's go. But anything that has to do with, um, themselves is just lost. It's a very serious condition. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. 
but in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. <laughs> Do you have any idea what might have caused it? Hmm. Maybe I had a really bad breakup? <laughs> I've decided he's... I've decided... I've decided that the masked man is Junpei. Uh, based on that one bad joke alone. And I've decided uh, that he... In order to cope with trauma that Akane put him through, just took on the mask. <laughs> he was making a laughing sort of noise. But his expression didn't change. With the mask on, there was no way we could tell if he was smiling or not. But his voice sure didn't make it sound like he was. The bullshit. This guy's obviously full of it. Don't tell me you're actually buying this. The year's outburst was greeted with an awkward silence. It wasn't that we trusted the robot man, per se. Only that it seemed clear that he was in the same boat we were. There was a bracelet on his wrist, too. Close inspection revealed that his armor fit around the bracelet. In other words, the bracelet was attached to his arm like ours and not simply part of his suit. And just like ours, his had a three on it. It said pair below the three and all the text was bright green. Clover's bracelet was exactly the same. How long had we been there? It still hadn't entirely shaken the last traces of sleep out of my head. I still hadn't. And my brain felt foggy and cluttered. Had I been asleep for hours, days? There was no way to know. They'd taken my favorite watch when they grabbed me. <laughs> They'd taken my favorite watch when they grabbed me and given me the bracelet instead. And unless that happened to be three right now, it wasn't gonna be very useful for telling time. With no windows in the warehouse, it was impossible to even guess what time of day or night it was. Time could have stopped and we wouldn't have had the first idea. <sighs> very stressed right now. <laughs> Damn it! No dice! <laughs> this thing won't open. Didn't I tell you that? <laughs> yeah, well, I just thought... There's a box here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators. The thing that says lock on it? I don't think it's a card reader, though. Huh? <laughs> hey, what do you think that is? What? That graffiti over there. See? On the wall? Oh, yes, that. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. <laughs> Two milkmen go comedy! <laughs> Two milkmen go comedy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's saying that a pair of milkmen decided to become comedians. Still, it just kind of sounds like nonsense, though. I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. Uh, what? You heard me. Two milkmen go comedy! Thank you, Alan. Yeah, I did, I just... What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's an anagram. Oh. An anagram? Yeah. They tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously? You've never heard of an anagram. It's a kind of, um, wordplay where you move the letters around to create something else. Right? Exactly. Watch. Please don't talk to me about my watch. It's, I miss it. It was my favorite watch. You don't get it. With the tip of her boot, Fi spelled out two sentences in the dust on the floor. Damn, how dusty is it? Two milkmen go comedy. Welcome to my kingdom. Well, that's less fun, but sure. Hannah Gra- Me. <laughs> oh, okay. If you switch it around, yeah, that makes sense. Huh. Hmm. Exactly. Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? Yeah, but... <sighs> Where are they? Pretty rude to invite somebody over and not even offer them a drink. True. 
But you're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. Scared to come out and face me like a man? Are you an idiot? I'm a rabbit. You really think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Is there a zero Hannah for this voice too? I feel like the best I can do right now is literally just my monochroma voice. I don't know, can I filter my voice to make it similar? I don't even know. Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's not what I meant, though. Oh! You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? Yes, God, touch this one a little too hard. What? What? What does that mean? What? Weren't you listening to Fido? She's clever, you know. <laughs> Wait, then you're saying Zero is one of us. Well, yes. I guess that's one way to put it. Are you really sure? You're responding to our questions and stuff right now. That means you're not just, like, a, a video somebody made. Wouldn't that mean that Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? Because it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. Well, of course they aren't. I'm an AI. Sorry, I'm so sorry. We gotta cancel you. I... The world isn't ready. And it never will be. We don't support you here. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> what? I'm an artificial intelligence powered by a quantum computer. Zero is the one who built me, of course. So I guess that makes one of you my parent! <laughs> now, are you a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> that would be telling. <laughs> Oof, that's why he doesn't have hands. <laughs> now, with that said, I guess I should probably tell you that I'm not the one who brought you here. I mean... Obviously. I don't even have a body. I'm just the facilitator for this facility. I just do what I'm told to do. And what do you facilitate? Didn't I say? The nonary game! The game, of course! <laughs> oh, the nonary game. Ambidex edition? Correct! It's my job to make sure it runs smooth. I do enjoy how the text is like changing to the the the, the talking. It's fun. No. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. It's supposed to be over. <laughs> Why she goes again? She knows something. Oh no! So, this what is, is awful. the normal game? Oh. Nonary refers to a base nine numeral system, but can also mean something that is, in some way, related to the number nine. Not base nine. Nona can be used as a prefix as well, or it means essentially the same thing. Therefore, it stands to reason that the Nonary game is a game that deals with the number nine in some way. Exactly. Nine is a very, very important number in this game. After all, nine is your goal. Goal? You see that door in front of you. That's your door. If you can open the door with an eye on it, you can escape. What? What do we have to do to open it? Yes, yes, yes. That all 
all pretty smiley. Like, Clovis is obviously the worst so far, but they're all pretty smiley. Let me explain. Look at your left wrists. You see the bracelet? Of course you do. Now, tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? A three. What about the rest of you? They're all the same. We've all got threes. Exactly. I'm going to call those numbers bracelet points. If you're feeling lazy, you can just call them BP. Only the people who can get their number to nine or more will be able to open the door with a nine on it and escape. See the box on the wall? That's how you'll get out. Anyone with a greater than or equal to nine BP can pull that lever and the door will open. However, there are three rules you can't forget. One, the number nine door will only stay open for nine seconds. When your time is up, it will close automatically, so be careful. Two, the number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It'll close for good after nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you can get stuck. Uh-oh. Three, now, maybe some of you are thinking, you're thinking, oh ho. If my BP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough BP open the door. And I'll just slip through when it's open. Well, that's not gonna happen. If you think you can be sneaky, well... <laughs> well, what? Oh, I... Oh, I really shouldn't say that yet. <laughs> All you need to know is that anybody who tries to sneak out gets hit with a big... What the hell does that mean? Down in front! I'll tell you later. Um... Yes? Why did you start making... rabbit puns? And I hope you know that thanks to you, every time the rabbit speaks, all I can imagine is Junko's 10 billion different talking sprites. Uh... You're welcome. Well, um... That's why I'm so sorry. Gosh, I felt like it? I thought it might make me sound cute. Never mind that. You still haven't told us what we need to know most. I love Junko and I love this area so much. Unfortunately, I don't like Junko, so... I'm struggling, but we're gonna get that. <laughs> I gotta say, this has been a bizarre game to lock on so far, just hearing bits with very little context as well. I can promise that I have context and I don't understand. So, I can't even imagine. How do we get BP? Oh, that's easy. Just use the Ambidex room. If you like abbreviations, you can always call it the AB room instead. You mean those, uh, elevators? Gold Star! Duh! So how do we go about using them? How else do you use a room? You go in. <laughs> you mean through those hatches? No. I had a hunch you might try that. So I closed those up tight while you were talking. So don't be hatching any hatch plans, you understand? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this hood warren are under my control. How do we get in then? Scratch that, reverse it. Oh. We tried the doors on the front, they're all locked. <sighs> There's a card reader next to each one, isn't there? All you gotta do is slide a card through, and there you go. But where do we find those key cards? Yeah, we don't got them. There weren't any in the warehouse. <laughs> oh, well, no. Of course there wouldn't be any there. Then where are they? I think you will find what you're looking for behind the chromatic doors. <laughs> Chromatic doors. Right there! You see the three pretty doors just to your right? Huh? Hold on. I thought those doors were locked. Or What? You see those buttons on the sides of your watch? Can you press them at the same time? 
Why? To make little boys ask questions. Just press them, please. In fact, why doesn't everybody press their buttons as well? Hey, what's this number? The two digits on the left show hours, and the two on the right show minutes. I don't think Hannah's gonna make it through this game. I, I'm so strong. I, I'm strong. No, what do you mean? Does that mean it's 12.10 in the morning? No! Oh, the numbers are going down. It's going from 10 minutes to 9. So... That would mean this must be counting down to something, right? Correct. I don't even need to explain the rest, do I? At least I'm guessing this is the time until the chromatic doors unlock. Ding, 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 ding! Very impressive, Ten Mioli! Nah. <laughs> Alright! Let us review what we've learned. In nine minutes, the chromatic doors will open automatically. However, just like the number nine door, they won't stay open forever. You have five minutes. Maybe Hansel better tell the rabbit. I think the majority of people like the rabbit. I I I'm I like the rabbit more the rabbit talks. Once your time is up, the doors will close no matter what. So I, like I the hope you've gone through by then. That's just the primary door. <laughs> what? Each door in this warren has a twin! Isn't that nice? The chromatic doors aren't any different. There's one door on this side, one door on the other side. Unfortunately, the secondary chromatic door on the other side is locked too! <laughs> Couldn't make it easy for us, could you? Of course you'll all have to split up. Split up? Yep. Clear. Can you tell me what the three primary colors Ooh, are? Uh. Why are you asking me? Because you're the only person who hasn't talked to me. I try to communicate with as many people as I can. It helps me improve, you see. I'm trying to get into the rabbit of doing it all the time. Now, answer my questions. Do you know what the three primary colors are? Well, y you mean red, green, and blue? You're supposed to be able to make any color by mixing them, right? So which colors would you mix to get magenta? Red and blue. How about yellow? Green and red. What if you wanted cyan? Blue and green. Right. Now, take another look at the nice bracelets you're all wearing. Hi. Notice how they come in three vibrant colors? I don't think mean prince. Okay, I'm glad. Because I was like, what? That's not... Th thank you for saying that. Because otherwise I was going to just be sat here just being like, what? No! <laughs> yeah, yeah. We get it already. The red and blue bracelets can open the secondary magenta door together. Green and red can open the yellow one. And blue and green can open the cyan door. I miss anything? Wonderful! I think you grab it. You're talking about what happens if you've got two of the same color, right? Yep. What do you think happens? <laughs> How the hell would I know? If you want to open a door, but all you've got is one color, I then you can use it. that to open a door with the complementary color to the one you've got. You made it make sense for me. Hmm. I see. So if you've got red and red, then you can open the cyan door. Blue and blue can open the yellow door. And green and green can open the magenta door. Right again! Looks like your brain hasn't rotted away yet, Tenmioli. Yet. 
Uh, just what the hell's that supposed to mean? It means exactly what it says. I was trying to compliment you, you know. Oh well, let's continue, shall we? There are two types of bracelets, pairs and solos. That means there's two types of players, too. Pairs and solos. It's kind of a simplification. As in, in the game? In this game, the two members of a pair are considered to be a single entity, which means they share the same destiny. Isn't that a good deal? I mean, you get two for the price of one! <laughs> Unfortunately, that also means they care and split up. Oh, both members of a pair have to go through the same chromatic door. Solos don't have any restrictions like that, though. I mean, why would they? They're forever alone. And that means that they can go wherever they want! Yay! Now, let's take another look at all of your bracelets. We'll start with you, Siggy. What color is your bracelet? <laughs> oh, me! Red. Are you a pile? <laughs> so I am a pile. <laughs> Fight him is next! Tell us about your bracelet. It's just like Sigma's red in a pair. What about you, Alas? It's red, and I'm a solo. Bio, work. Bio. Blue, pair. Yeah, mine's the same. Moody, flavor, cavioli, all at once. I'm a blue solo. I'm a green. Hair. Green Solo. And finally, uh, who are you? I'm, uh... Aww. Let's see. I suppose you can call me... Okay. Oh, did Sigma talk? I didn't even... He might have. I didn't, I didn't think he was. I might have over... Spoken, over spoken. He didn't? Okay. It's sad that he doesn't have a voice. I hope I hope he talks at some point. Because I don't know what his personality is yet. I knew it! You were just lying about that amnesia crap! I'm not lying. This was just a... How do I put it? A flash of insight, I suppose. I saw the letter K. So? What does K have to do with anything? I wish I knew. Sadly, I have no idea. Does it mean anything to you? Asshole. Come on now, boys. You can fight later. Now, uh, Kay? Can I call you that? Yes. I'm guessing your bracelet is the same as Clover's. He's so cute! That's right. It says, Pear. And the text is green. Well, Fire and I can't split up since we're part of the same pair. If we're red, then I guess we should pair up with Luna, right? Since she's a blue solo. Or you could work with Mr. Dio and me. We're blue too. Whoops! Oh, celery sticks. I forgot to tell you. You have to have exactly three people in your group to open the secondary door. Oh, but then we could never... Oh. That means you can't have two people, or four people, or, well, anything other than three, really. <laughs> well, that sucks. And our only choice is to power up with Luna. Pretty much. And... I guess I should probably tell you that the secondary door won't open until the primary door closes. It's made that way to keep out cheaters. We didn't want a fourth or fifth person just running in at the last minute like, No! Wait for me! When the right people open the door, what if the primary door closes first? Then that's impossible! You see? It all makes sense. And you might have run a hair too long in my explanation, but now I'm all done. Good job, Sarah. Any questions? No. 
Not a single one. I took a moment to go over everything we learned so far. What do I have to do to escape? Open the number nine door. How do I open the number nine door? I have to get nine or more bracelet points, also known as BP. How do I get more BP? I don't have the whole answer to that one yet, but it looks like I have to head into the ambidex room to get it. How do I get into the ambidex room? I'll need a key card. Where is the key card? In the chromatic door. What do I do to open the primary chromatic door? Nothing, actually. Apparently it just opens on its own after a certain amount of time. Pressing the buttons on both sides of the bracelet simultaneously shows how much time is remaining. How do I get through the secondary door? The starters, there's a limit to how many people can go in. Specifically, three people. If combined, cool. Match, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes. It looks like none of you have any questions. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Huh? No, wait. We have questions. Of course we have questions. What's the point of this game? Why did you take us? Where are we? And, and, and who the hell is the real Zero? Woo! Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Sorry guys, but it looks like your time's up. You better hop to it and get those secondary doors open. Fuck that. We aren't gonna open shit. You can take your lamery game and shove it up your ass. Lamery game? <laughs> if you think we're just gonna swallow your psychotic crap and play along, you've got another thing coming, you smart ass little rodent. I'm a rabbit. Shut up! Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. Unfortunately, you have no choice but to follow the rules. Shut up and quiet! Why is that? When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. If anyone's left outside after they close, they'll... They'll what? They'll be penalized. You keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? Dio, let's not risk it, man. Let's just be alive. Oh. <laughs> Death! Yay! Your bracelets contain two drugs. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil Beta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubo Cura Ring. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. That's kind of fun. First is the silver rail, which puts you to sleep. Nine minutes later, the tubo curarine is injected, numbing your respiratory muscles. Yo, Zero, you, you got some good say, tunes, man. It'll really take your breath away. You should know that the silver rail is only there out of the kindness. Zero's heart. Oh, and, and I mean the real Zero. Mm -hmm. Not me. Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. That's really nice. Isn't that just so compassionate? Yeah. If I had a heart, it'd be melting right now. Yo, yeah, I don't know about you guys. I love Zero. Anyway, I think whoever Zero should just let themselves be known. Because I want to say thank you to them. Really. Of course. None of that will happen if you just follow. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Well then, looks like it's time for me to hop on out of here. I'm gonna miss you. Good luck, guys! Yo! There is still something about this Zero that reminds me of Junko in a terrifying way, but the more Zero talks, the more I'm the more I'm supporting them. See you all later! Have a nice trap! <laughs> bye bye! So, I need the bathroom so bad. I'm gonna go pee and then we're gonna... I don't even know. Um, I'll give you music. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Good luck, don't drown. Thank you. I will stay, I will stay not submerged. 
Um, be right back, everybody. Stretch your legs if you haven't. You need to. It's good for you. Okay, goodbye.
Hello, this game is great, huh? This game, this game is very strange, but I'm enjoying it. It's somehow so tonally weird and bizarre compared to 999. And it's great. We have a Sophia. We do have a Sophia command. I don't remember what it's called though. We have one of her going, one of her with the schwa wow 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 stuff. I don't remember what it is called though. Feels like it goes off the rails quicker. Uh, yeah, for sure. Which is crazy to say that when the first game had a, a man potentially drowning in the first <laughs> like 30 seconds. Sorry, my cables. Sophie's rat. I don't know. I don't remember what it is. I'm so sorry. I wish I. I wish I had it on deck. Oh god, we back. We are so back. How are you doing, Celestica? Okay. Um. <clears throat> so there was poison in the bracelet. It seemed a little hard to believe, but it wasn't like I had anything other than a computer-generated rabbit. Say either way. Hi, Lysteria. What were we going to do? There was a lot to think about, but we didn't have very much time. Time. There's never enough time. What are we waiting for? We need to go. We do. We need to get through these other doors. Jumping to the madness that soon? I'm brave and overly confident. <laughs> but... How do we figure out which door to go through? You still don't get it? <sighs> Fine. Just pay attention, we don't have much time. Zero's explanation was pretty confusing, so let me put it in small words for you. There are only three possible options. Option A. Sigma and I pair up with Luna. Our red and her blue can open the magenta door. It's not triggered? Is the bot okay? Huh. I don't know. That's really weird. That would mean Clover and Kay would go with Alice. Their green goes with Maybe her red to, re to make it? yellow. I don't know. That's really weird. Clover and Kay would go with Alice. The green goes with her red to make yellow. That just leaves Dio and Cork as the blue pair, and Tenmyoji as the green solo. The only door they can open is the cyan one. Got it. This game really had like a 30 minute long nonary game exposition dialogue. This early on in the game. If you survive that, you can survive anything. <laughs> Option B. <laughs> you may have been lost with the old PC. I can read it if you have the text. It might be on Pachi's document. Um, yeah, I thought we had it. I don't know. Maybe we just didn't realize it got lost that long. Sigma and I go with Tenmyoji, so we can Thank use red Sigma. and green to make yellow for that door. That means Clover and Kay pair up with Luna to open the Cyan door. This leaves Dio and Quark with Alice, and together they can open up the Magenta door. And finally, Option C would be where we pair up with light colors to open complementary colored doors. But I want to go with Dio and Quark. That means Sigma, Alice, and I go through the Cyan door. I can never win. Clover, K, and Tenmyoji go through the Magenta door. And Dio, Quark, and Luna go through the Yellow door. Problem is, which do we choose? Please, Sigma, choose something. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, what, what? 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 Why me? If you don't want to, then maybe Alice or Clover can choose. Or Tenmyoji or Dio or anyone. Once one person chooses, everyone else's decisions will be made for them. But please, you have to hurry. We're almost out of time. 
Bro, she sounds so like fun. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll pick. Nobody seemed upset, but they probably knew as well as I did that we don't have time for bickering. I took a deep breath and spoke. Okay. Fi and I will... Oh. I think I want to go to Luna, I think. Yeah, let's go to Luna. I think we'll power up with Luna and head through the magenta door. Are you guys good with that? Sure. All right. Then Clover and I will go with Alice. As long as I get to go with Alice, I'm fine. I don't have any objections. We'll be going through the yellow door, right? That means Dio, Quark, and I are doing the cyan door. Ugh, stuck with a kid and some old fart. I can't see how this could possibly go badly. I thought you and Koi was were, were friends. Hmm. Oh. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and you'll pull your head out of your ass. What did you just say? Ten seconds <sighs> remain until chromatic Holy moly. Aki Dio, you are out of control. Nah. Eight. Seven. We need to hurry. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get moving. Three. Two. One. Zero. Zero. Chromatic doors closing. Last reward of the virtue is Dio unlearning ageism. <laughs> Are we in space? What is this place? Didn't you see the door? It said this is the lounge. Lounge? Does that mean there's somebody living here? Well, there doesn't seem to be much dust. Maybe there is. Huh. So you've got a well-used lounge right next to a big empty warehouse. What is this building for? Beats me. It looks like there are four doors in here. Yeah. The one we came in, the one opposite it, and two more on the left and right. The two on the sides are covered with metal plates, though. Don't think we'll be opening them anytime soon. I guess that just leaves us one option. No good. This one's locked too. I didn't see any other doors in the hallway we came through. Maybe we can find one of the keys to the AB room in here somewhere. Well, it's not gonna find itself. Let's go. Ah, see, the way out! I know, I played this game. I know what I know what words we use. Carry out. R L R. Run later, run pay loser. <laughs> I figured it out. Yippee! Garbage. What's this thing? Some kind of sink? Ah, uh, clever. If you get wasted, you can just puke into here. That's not what it's for. There's an icon on the counter above it. Huh. I guess it's a drain. You pull leftover drinks down it. Nice. This thing looks weird. Is it supposed to be the sun or something? There are 12 words on it. They're arranged kind of like the spokes on a wheel. Let's see here. Red, white, blue, island, green, moon, flag, ocean, yellow, earth, sun, planet. 
Huh? <laughs> a lighting fixture with a cover on it. That doesn't seem to be anything strange about it. A lighting fixture. My favorite color is planet. The five voices coming along well. Thank you. Northern Hemi Hemisphere. <laughs> is this a model of Earth? This looks like North America. It looks like someone took the Northern Hemisphere and chopped it in half. Why don't we just call it the Northern Hemi Hemisphere? Northern Hemi Hemisphere. I like it. I love the soundtrack. The vibes are really cool. Like, I don't know. I feel like it just works with the aesthetic of the place really well. It's cool. Everyone, let's vote for the two milkmen as the ship of the year in the 2024 Louisi Gamer Awards. I know we can win. Huh? There's something behind this cushion. Astronomy Today? Is this a magazine? What is it about? Looks like astronomy. You have found an astronomy magazine. I love astronomy. A magazine about, of all things, astronomy. This issue appears to be about lunar eclipses. The article says a lengthy lunar eclipse will occur at 4.50 p.m. UT on 21.31.21? Am I okay? In other words, oh my god, I just remembered, isn't it Christmas Day? Um, in other words, at 4.50 p.m. you can see a total lunar eclipse. Wait a minute, 4.50 p.m.? I can't really see what I'm drawing, but it's just a man and he's observing the lunar eclipse really good. The astronomy magazine is about astronomy? <laughs> Who would have thought? A red leather cushion. Uh, 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 hey, come on. That was a real sneeze. It was dusty. A cushion. Why are you faking sneezes, Fi? What's this about? I like this question. Oh, another safe. Okay. Um. What's this? A note? It looks like a page from a journal. You found a fragment of the bartender's diary. Juicy drama. The southern hemi hemisphere. Part of a model of the earth. It's got the southern end of Africa and all of Australia. Half of the Southern Hemisphere. I guess that would make this the Southern Hemi Hemisphere. Nice. <laughs> What's this thing? Some kind of top? Sigma says top. Sigma says top. Allah, Allah, Sigma says top. Jinpei could never do it, but Sigma's done it in the first stream. Oh! It's got these cones in the center. Yes, but look at the edges. It looks like part of a map. Could this be part of the earth? This looks like a model of the earth. Or at least part of one. This has Eurasia on it. It's like someone sliced the Northern Hemisphere in half. I guess we can call it the Northern Hemi Hemisphere for now. Excellent. Any thoughts on the chairs, King? No, 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 the chairs. No, no thoughts on the chairs? I'm dead. It looks like a stool. A table, kind of rusty, I guess. Yes, it seems like a perfectly normal table. Ah! What's wrong? I thought I saw her face in the stains and I, I got scared. Okay. Of course, Angel. Kinda looks kinda like Luna. <gasps> Luna cosplay? Incoming? A stool. A stool. A stool. A stool. A stool. A stool. A circular table. I wonder what this is. It looks like a banana hanger. What? Is that even a thing? Of 
course. You've never seen one? Well, anyway, it only looks like one. I think it's something else. <laughs> it does look like a banana height. She's right. She's right. So we have no idea what it is after all. Sigma, come on, put it together. You can do it, King. There are some letters on the wall. Some of them are black and some of them are red. R-L-R-L. -L -L. Run, later, rumpy loser. O-E-D-I. <laughs> Is this some kind of code? Right, left, right, left. Open, ended, delicious, intestines, I munch, lunch. <laughs> Hmm, close enough. All right. Um. <gasps> yummy drinks. Oh, two needles. Okay. They're long, thin, pointy pieces of metal. <laughs> LLR2! Peggle2! Are they needles of some kind? Why are there two of them? <laughs> A glass. Do you think it could be a cocktail glass? There's nothing in it. I wonder what this screen is for. It doesn't look like it's turned on. Real lads, romantic lovers. <laughs> Can you see a switch? No, nothing. Button. Nothing happens when I push it. I wonder what this Y means. This Y? Do you mean the drink? <laughs> what the hell is this? A helmet? How on earth does this look like a helmet? Why? <laughs> Why? Shut up, be quiet! <laughs> if it's not a helmet, what is it? Maybe it's a maybe it's a bread maker or one of those automatic cat feeders. What? What if I get another glass? I put it on top. This glass won't work. Okay. Um, we need to read the bar cousin thing. Three customers came in today. A couple and their son. The father sat in the center, with the mother on the left and the son on the right. When I came to take their order, they said the following. Father, my wife likes the color red and I like white. My son has always liked ocean. Mother, my son has loved the color blue ever since he was a child. My husband likes island and I like planet. Son. My mother and <laughs> My mother and I like noon. My father likes anything green. One of them was a liar, but I swiftly made the drinks and handed them over. Damn. I would have just kicked them out, personally, but that's just me. Okay, can we combine all of these things? I don't know. Okay, and then can we combine... This? And then can we combine this? This isn't working very well. Looks like the northern summer hemisphere. Okay, can we combine it like with this? And then we can combine this with this. Globe. Good work! You've made a globe! And if you look closely at it, I think it's actually transparent. Oh, I've heard the real lands romantic live is just gonna get an anime in 2025. A little unexpected, but I'm sure it'll be great as long as they keep the Eiffel Tower basketball scene. My goodness. He loves ocean. <laughs> oh, I get it. The completed globe goes here. Yeah, just like this. Good job, King. Perfect. This is a globe. A globe. A globe. A globe. A globe. Are we gonna do anything with the globe? Okay. We'll move on, I guess. Um. Red. Sunshine. 
Ocean Island Moon Song. Are we going to pick every single one up? That's a really bright yellow. Some animals use yellow as a warning to predators, so maybe this is a warning to us to stay alert. This one is white. White always makes me think of wedding dresses. I'd like to wear one someday. <laughs> that means you're single, right? Why did he shout this? The, your face is scaring me. The green one. You know, my favorite color is green. Oh my gosh, she's just like me for Ria. She's ginger, her favorite color is green. Oh my god. Just looking at it makes me feel happy and calm. This liquor is blue. I think it matches you, Sigma. Why is that? Well, you're wearing blue. I am? That's pretty straightforward. We got a clue. We're wearing blue. We're playing as a fuck boy. I don't know if fuck boy is the right word, but we are playing as a boy who wants to fuck. As far as I can tell. Luna was based off you confirmed. Sun alcohol, huh? Maybe that means the alcohol content is so high it'll burst into flame and sunlight. Drool. It looks good. Don't drink it. Okay. Alcohol of the moon. It makes me think of Japanese sake for some reason. Drool. It also makes me want to drink it. Don't drink it. Island alcohol. I wonder if it comes from an island. Drool. How interesting. Don't drink it. I wonder what ocean alcohol would taste like. I hope it's not salty. Drool. Now I want to try it. She's me in the zero escape. Show. Wow. Ace alcohol. <laughs> Drool. That's a pretty weird name. Drool, but with our powers combined. Don't drink it. We have so many items. What? This is more items than we had in the whole of Zero Escape, the first one. Oh my god. There are a lot of bottles here. How do you like to have a drink with me? Sigma on the Alpha Grace. Huh? Oh, oh. You really think this is a good time to be making a pass at someone? She's getting all nervous now. <laughs> Yo, I, we were we were having something special at Fi, okay? Chill, get out of here. Okay, can I use the alcohol in the thing? Oh! Okay, get rid of that. Right, we need the thingy back. Right. My wife likes the color red and I like white. My son has always liked ocean. I need my notepad. <laughs> oh no. It begins so early. <laughs> right. Okay. Wife. Okay, we're gonna have the wife line. We're gonna have the mother. Wait, no. Wait, wife. Husband. Son. Wife, husband, son. What drink would Santa drink? A hot cocoa. I don't know, probably a whiskey. <laughs> like, just no ice, no nothing, just whiskey. Um, okay, so the husband says that the wife likes the color red. And that he says he likes the color white. My son has always liked ocean and he says they like ocean. That was too easy. Eggnog! This is your best voice work, yeah. Thank you so much. I'm really hoping one day someone will hire me to just voice someone awful. And I'll give them the worst voice ever and people will hate them. Um, the wife says that the son likes the color blue and husband likes island and wife likes planet. Sun says, my mother and I like moon. Uh, 
My father likes anything green. Well, he, well, okay. How do one of them's a liar? I would like Hannah to be hired to do the Mekon voice for a character. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure if he's a liar. But... Well, I guess if we test one drink from each one, maybe we can find out who... When Kodaka and Ukochi finish that game, you should voice one of the... I'll do it. I'll do it! Just ask me, I'll do it. Okay, right, let's use... If we use the red, we can test out what husband says. Wait, was that husband? Yeah, okay. Let's let's just tell what Robert... R R Robert? Sure, his name's Robert now. Red? He says red. Oh, wait. Do I have to, like, mix? Hold on. So wife might like a red planet or a red moon? Is that It looks like you can insert bottles of alcohol into this machine. The glass is full of liquid now. It looks like we've made a cocktail. Red moon. Okay. Oh, and then do I put them back on the... Okay, okay, okay. Because the he said like when where they sat, right? A couple in their son. The father sat in the center with the mother on the left and the son to the right. Okay, 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 okay. But if he stood here, is he is he saying they? St I'm gonna say, ah, oh. hey, the thing lit up. It looks like it's made to light up when you put a cocktail on it. Let's try putting some on the other coasters. You wasted no time getting to VLR. Believe me, uh, there was. I was talking about it this morning, so I won't get big into it. But cool boy, there was a lot of time spent on me deciding what game I was gonna play and having literally no clue. And then at about half past ten this morning, I was like, okay, VLR. Just an entire game where Hannah does the official voices to every character. They are all her most iconic voice. No. 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 Okay, let's make the husband a white. Oh, wait, can you meet? Mix white and green? Let's see. Directed by Louise Hannah, produced by Louise Hannah, voice direction by Louise Hannah. We need to get a, like a whole budget going for the Louise Gamer Awards, and then we're gonna make like a whole animation. We're gonna do the whole shebang. Like you're not ready. No one's ready. Oh, white. Okay. Okay. No, I want to swap this one. Why? Oh, can I only swap the? Wait, if I move this to, like, sun, can I then swap that? Oh, okay, that helps us. Okay. So, the husband and son can't be telling the truth because the husband and the son said... Because then the husband would like a white-green drink, which is impossible! That's crazy! So it has to either be a white island drink or a green island drink. Okay. So it can't be the husband and the son. So the wife has to be telling the truth. Oh, queen. Okay, so with that information, we will remake her drink. Oh no, no, because I made the husband's drink, I think. Right, let's use the planet. She wants a planet, which is red. The arrows. Don't go the way I feel like they should every time. 
Okay, so that's her drink. Now let's go get this glass back. And we're gonna throw away the red moon stuff. Uh, yeah. So this is a drain for throwing away leftover drinks. Yes, I think so. I'll toss this cocktail then. No! Why waste it? Drink the thing. I'd like to, but what if it's poisoned? Mm. See? I think it's better if I just pitch it. There it goes. Well, now I have an empty glass. Excellent. Everywhere I turn, I hear his voice. And his palm is right hot. I don't know how I ever even made those noises. I don't know. Okay, so we went with planet red. Red planet we went with. So now we're gonna go with white island and then blue ocean. I think that's right. Because we can't do it any other way. Because we can't have a planet moon, we can't have a white green, and we can't have an ocean moon. So I think that's the only possible combination. Oh, I didn't mean that, sorry. Uh, blue, and then white uh, island we're going with. Where is the island? Oh. Ooh. Yummy, okay. Uh, and then we're gonna go blue ocean. go over here and we will put okay mother on the left father in the middle son on the right okay mother in the center and the father has the white oh okay. drink master if i thought you flatter me this could all be wrong who's to say and then we'll put the sun on the sun on the right, but I think it's like right, like how the bartender sees it, because he's behind the bar, right? So this side. And then our stream is so small. I could get it wrong. We went up there. Yet. <laughs> Never mind. Our stream is so small. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. They're all blue. Does that mean I got it right? I think so. Huh? Oh, look. Something happened on the screen. Blue. Oh, I saw something like this before. You too. Yes, that was one in your AB room. Yeah, I think so. It opened a safe back then. We should write this down somewhere. Moon, star, star, moon, star, star. No, it's cool. No. <laughs> Babe, I'm six foot five and I've got a memory that that will that will leave you shocked. Yeah, I know you said your favorite color is green. Yeah, I pay attention. Yeah. No, it's cool. <laughs> I can remember it. You're going to memorize it. Sure. No sweat. <laughs> I've got a pretty good memory. Moon star star, moon star star, moon star star. I went the wrong way, moon star star. This safe is just like the one I saw in the AV room. Yeah, Sigma and I saw one just like it. So do you think it opens the same way? Try it and find out. Moon star star. Yay! Hey, what do you think of that, Luna? You think I'm pretty cool, right? Awesome! It opened. Good job, Sigma! Mm. Well done. Yay! Okay, well... 
We did part one, I guess. Um, I think we have to do something with this. An object shaped like the sun. There are 12 words written on it. Like metals, like... There are 12 words written on it, like wheel spokes or rays, I guess, if we're going with the sun metaphors. Oh, can you not like do anything with that? Okay. A globe. What happens if you... Um... Oh, okay. Um... There's some letters written on the wall. I think they're a code. Some of them are red and some of them are black. L-L-O-I-I-L-I-O-N-N -I 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 <sighs> Let's write it down. L... L L O I I L I O N N and the other one says R R E V M O R 1 Maybe it's another anagram or Mordor! Need. <laughs> oh wait, I used the D twice. Hi, user taken. How you doing? But can I like... Why do you keep taking me away from it? I guess maybe this isn't what I'm meant to do. But it feels like what I'm meant to do. Oh, I guess this is the drinks again. Red, red. Gollum. It was all. It was all a prologue to Gollum. Maybe it is drinks. Maybe I need more drinks. What do I do with the drinks? is approaching the stream at top speed. <laughs> red, red, uh, no, okay, there's no one beginning with D. Okay, so that's wrong, I think. How you doing, CKRV? The hidden ending of this game just leads to the Golem game, the greatest reward. That is indeed Virtue's last reward, is playing Golem. in one of the other rooms? Where are you going? That's the door we came through. Oh. I mean, we could go back into the hallway, but everything out there is locked up tight. We can't get back to the warehouse. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, Luna, ignore her. I'm, uh, I got great memory. I'm not cool, okay, Luna? Just trust me. It says, look. Maybe this thing is keeping the door locked. Maybe. Well, the keyhole does lend some credence to that theory. So we need to find a key that looks like it fits in there, right? You guys saw the 999 streams were unhinged? Just imagine the chaos that Golem will cause. <laughs> yes, that should do it. I love Luna. I don't really know what she's on or what she's doing, but I'm I'm all about it. Can you go behind here? Um, okay. Um I feel like we need to do something with the globe. She said it was transparent. But I don't know what we can do with that information. Oh, can we like use this song? Ooh! Spokes. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Can we use that as spokes? Does that change anything? Ooh, I don't know, but... It looks like a clock, but it doesn't have any hands. Do you think those needles might you found might go on there? <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Well, I put the hands on the clock, but nothing's happening. 
What if you move them? <laughs> move them where? I don't know. Experiment. All right, let's give it a try then. Move the hand to a specific time, then press the check button. <laughs> cool. Um. Hopefully the golem streams will be less thirsty. Excuse me. We do not judge people for their golem love. Luna is two for two on figuring out lock doors. She really is. She sees the word lock and she's like, what if that was a lock door? And I'm like, yeah, what if? It's crazy. That she's... GL officially stands for Golem's Love. green because that's what the sun the sun was the liar and he only said moon and green I don't know is that, is that a theory? okay I thought it was a pretty good answer but yeah times will it take us to do every single combination probably not that long I feel like the or maybe it's red and black because of the color of the uh, we got all the time in the world baby <laughs> 72 combinations. I think we can fly through that. I feel like the maybe they are anagrams, but I just don't my brain doesn't work like that. <laughs> 72 is honestly not that much. I think we should play Pictionary. I feel like Pictionary is gonna trick us too often. I think Pictionary is a dangerous game. We're gonna be like, oh, we're only an hour into stream, let's have a little fun Pictionary session. And then four hours later, we're gonna be like, frick, we're in the same room. But it's gonna be really bad. Luna said her favorite colors, well, she likes green and white the most. Oh, green and blue. <gasps> okay, if green and blue works, that means that Luna and uh, Sigma are canon. <gasps> Gotta hand it to Zero, they're real generous on time limits. <laughs> they're very nice. Um Dice. I can't figure it out. I'm guessing I need to move them to a to a particular time. Oh, wait, maybe 4:50 because of the the um I don't know. Whatever astronomy today said. Um. For lunar eclipse. Yeah. Okay. How about 450? That puts the short hand at green and the long hand at sun. A green sun. What? Whoa! There's a beam of light coming out of the center of the clock. 
That's pretty impressive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa! So this now probably means things too, huh? R L E D I M. It's a globe. Look, some letters appeared on it. They say blue planet. The beam of light seems to have caused the words blue planet to appear across the surface of the globe. <laughs> it looks like the globe is refracting the light from the clock. Yes, into five different rays of light. <laughs> Only the one in the middle is red though. What the hell does that mean? I think it's supposed to represent a total lunar eclipse. What? Don't you know what that is? During a total lunar eclipse, the moon is entirely covered by the Earth's shadow. That doesn't mean the moon just disappears or turns black, though. It actually reflects light that's passed through the Earth's atmosphere. But this makes it appear to be red. Essentially, what's happening is that the moon is reflecting the sunset. Moon mentioned, Persona 3. We've had blue. We have moon. It's all coming together. We have Persona 3 voice act. It's all coming together. <laughs> so that red circle of light is supposed to be... So that red circle of light is supposed to be a total lunar eclipse. Isn't that what I just said? What do you mean? Um, okay, so this is... Is this like phases of the moon? Maybe? I don't really know what we do with that information, but... Die! Run! Run, pay, loser, die! M -m -m no! No! I figured it out. I can't believe Zero Escape's Virtue's Last Reward created Persona 3. It is the prequel to the best video game of all time. Wow. Poor Run, pay. Can't catch a break, man. He's not even here. Five beams of light are shining onto letters on the wall. The one in the center is red, and Phi seems to think that it represents a total lunar eclipse because those make the moon red. Lived, he loves love. Less than a week, I'm so excited. Isn't it crazy? It's gone so quickly. Total eclipse of the heart. I think, um. Boy. Whoa! Wow! That is probably what is going to happen to Sigma's heart, so it kind of works. Me. It's kind of like I accept that they're giving me information, but I don't really know what they want me to do with it ever. It seems to be the consistent thing in these puzzles so far. I'm just like, yeah, you are giving me things. Uh, what do you mean? Oh no, no. Does M sound for moon? No. Oh, moon? Moon on? Moon on? Is that insane? Moon on? Red, red moon? Lion? Red moon lion. Didn't we call Ace Lion at the beginning? I miss him. Um, Red Moon Lion. Am I meant to do something with that? Is that something I can do something with? Literally me in this game. 
All I can think about is A's! On the phone, me! Unaware, still clueless. Yes, I am. <laughs> that's, that's how I'm trying to figure it out. Um, red moon, blue planet. Okay, red moon, blue planet. No, wait. Red moon, blue planet, lion. Red moon, blue planet. Red moon, blue planet. What do I do with that? Red moon, blue planet. Can I change this around? Or is it done? Zoom light. That hour is pointing at the green. Can I not move it around? Oh, maybe I need to make the drinks? I do have more glasses, I guess. Okay, let's see if we can make more drinks. Um... Oh, I need to empty them. Jump right into VLR, nice. I did indeed. Hi, Ray. How's it going? Okay. Put that there. Blue ocean is what I have. Oh, I had red planet. Never mind. Oh, red moon, blue planet. And then, oh, and then maybe the third drink is green sun? Blue planet, red moon, red planet. Green! Sun! I was surprised today because I thought Hannah might go into X of 5 or Great Ace Honey and I'm not ready. You're not ready for, for those playthroughs? Or do you want to play them yourself? So I guess it would then go green, blue, red. Green? Is that good? Huh? It's green this time. Yeah, it's turned green when I put that drink on it. Oh, look at the screen! Oh, nice, okay. Damn. Huh? It changed. Don't worry, babe. I have memory. <laughs> now there are different shapes in different places. Well, it's probably related to the safe somehow. I'm blanking. Uh, great Ace Attorney. Both. Yaksa 5 will be just warning you. I'm just maybe sooner rather than I'm just set maybe sooner rather than later. It's time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just, but maybe. Well, it's probably related to the safe somehow. Can you remember this, Sigma? I can remember anything. <laughs> Leave it to me. Star, moon, sun. 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 higher than five, so surely five is finished already, surely. Huh? I guess there's another password that can open it too. So it would seem. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see. First we've got a map. It 
it says floor A in the corner. Yeah, we can take a close look at it later. There's still more stuff in there. Why don't you get the rest of it first? Right. Next we've got a card. Two cards, actually. Do you think these could be the key cards for the AB room? Dude, Luna, say what you want. She's the smartest one here. She sees things, she sees them, she witnesses them, and she knows. She puts all the things together. When she says a lock with lock on it, she knows that that's locked. She sees something that says AB room, that is a key card, and she says, could that be the key card for the AB room? I'm just putting it out there. See, it says Ambidex room right on them. Yeah, you're probably right. Now we can get into the AB rooms. And that means we can start getting more bracelet points. Once we've got nine, then we can open the number nine door and get out of here. At least, that's what that rabbit said. Yeah. But how are we supposed to get back to the warehouse? That's where all the AB rooms are. Just like when Jim Pace sees a chair, he says, Hey look, I think it's a chair. A cherry looking chair. We can go back the way we came, but that door's locked. We can't come back in. I think the answer to that is in the safe. See, read this note. There are four more tools for you. Oh, oh. Oh, is it time to exercise the rabbit voice? Do I just do Monokuma's for it? Oh. Um, uh, 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 um. here are a few more rules for you. <laughs> Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I, Carrot, keep you from going in and out of them. Any color of bracelet can go through them, and as many people as you like. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle, beyond it won't let you go back until you've solved the puzzle i see so in other words once we get out of here we can't we can get back to the warehouse right yeah seems like it so that means this key here is the last piece of the puzzle wow posh zero <laughs> he's fancy now Uh, one way. This way. The thing that keeps the door locked. It says locked. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the key in. Are you ready? I keep telling you, you don't have to ask every single. I'm not asking you. I'm asking Luna. Oh! I'm. Um. I'm ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Me and... I always said me and heart. Me and Luna just kind of... I don't know. Like, maybe there's a little... Maybe... Maybe a little... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Maybe, I don't know. Another elevator, huh? Do you think it works? Don't know. Only one way to find out, though. Hey, someone's coming. <gasps> I don't know why, but it really sounded like there was like uh, sleigh bells on someone. <laughs> Santa's back. Looks like Alice Clover K. Okay. And Dio Quark and Tenmyoji. Jinkling, Kay has bells. What's going on here? We ran into them a little bit ago. Well, not literally, of course. I don't know. With a prowl like that, I imagine you run into a lot of things. Prowl meaning. Let me see the map. 
Oh, sure. him a second chance. Uh, but he ruined that. I don't know it either. I don't think it's a common word. I mean, it means like the front of a ship or something. It means the portion of a ship's bow above water, specifically. The pointed or projecting front part of something. Ah, I get it. All three routes end up here. That's the same as the map we found in the infirmary. Infirmary? Oh, we found a map like that too. Ours was in the crew quarters. That's so. We found ours in the lounge. Hmm. I Maybe think we, we should are sit down for a bit and exchange ship. information. No. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. Saying she has bohonka bohonka gulguli. I see. <laughs> That's the formal way of saying it, I suppose. This is just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. Long, huh? Yeah, I'm budge. Just like the other doors. Oh my god, look at this. Tem Yoji with the posing. Hello? No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh. No, Ooh. I'm fine. Oh. But it looks like my guess was right. I hope our thingies change so then we can, like, go in with different people. The numbers have changed. Yeah. <laughs> numbers? Well, I guess we need colors to change. Oh yeah, the time left. I'm amazed we picked up on that before Luna, she's laughing. <laughs> the doors are referencing gay one. <gasps> You're longer. Looks like two hours. Six minutes. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. Bart, he's so like... <laughs> His animations are so like, dainty and cute. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Are you telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? Hmm. Looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Quark, why don't you show them that note we found? Sure. Oh? Did it say something like, supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We have one three. We found ours in the infirmary. Yeah, we found one too. It was in a safe in the lounge. Here are a few more rules for you. Once you have opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. Blah, 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 blah. Even I kind of. Blah, blah, blah. Any color of brace I can go through them. Bah, 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 bah. Once you activate a chromatic door and go through it, then turn it back. Why don't you go back? If that's true, then we can all go back to where we came and get into the warehouse. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key. We found some too. That makes six, son. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. So when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the doors out of the right. <sighs> Asshole. 
Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? All right, fine. Jesus. I'm going. I'm sensing some hostility. It's subtle, but it's there. Zero's notes were telling the truth. Getting back here was easy enough. That means we could all go visit the infirmary, too. Or the crew quarters. Hey, Grandpa, check this out! Some of your favorite scotch! Oh, -ho. Uh, tempting. I don't really think now's the time. Whoa, hold on. Wait, are you actually related? Grandpa? Since when they were they buddies? Or had they always been that close? Why do people? In other words, they'd known each other before the Nonary game. And if Cork was calling Tenmyoji Grandpa, maybe they were even related. Alice and Clover seemed to be close too. Just how many of these people knew each other already? Let's go, buddy. Aww. As soon as we get out of here, I can drink all the scotch I want. Aww. You can drink all the root beer floats you can stomach. Aww. What? You're gonna get me a root beer float? But are are you sure? Do you have enough money? Oh, ye of little faith. I found an old factory full of rare earth metals the other day. I guess. Anyway. <laughs> well, how's A? That exchange was strange. In Zero's game, no. Two milkmen go comedy! Why do people. <sighs> oh, hello. Oh, you're finally done. You were taking so long. I hopped off for a little nap. Ah, for... Yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. You don't get tired. Hey, B.O. My temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to it. So I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Otherwise... Well, you really need me to spell it out. Forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Puppy. Alrighty. Let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Theo's a little puppy. Namely, how do you get more BP? <laughs> we go into the AB rooms, right? Look. We've got some keys for them right here. K and Cork to each. So we've got six all together. But who goes into what room? Walks up to couple. So who is the milkman and who's the second milk? So who is the milkman in your relationship? <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yes, yes, yes. What do we do after we go into the room? Play a game. Just like it says on the door. You play the Ambidex game! Wait, what's Ambidex supposed to mean anyway? I would guess it's short for Ambidextrous. 
Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands I'm instead of favoring the left or right, but it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. It's a game of betrayal, then. Well, yes, I guess you could look that way. Right. Then what's the nonary game? Try to open the number nine door and see. The ambulance game is just a mini game played as part of the larger one. Okay. Makes sense? Sure. Like hell. <laughs> Shit, it's confusing. <laughs> is it? Or is it that you're just a few carats short of a bushel? What do you think? Uh, American little bastard. <laughs> Is it Koi Koi? Can I play everyone in Koi Koi well, and win everything? That's just how I am. So you better get used to it. Uh, now, could I have you all move to the AB room, please? Why are we doing accents now? I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. I think it'll probably be easier to understand that one. Oh, right. Okay, Cork and myself each gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Tamirji. Then we headed into the AB rooms. There wasn't really any discussion of who'd go into which door, and Fi and I found ourselves heading into the leftmost room. Do you want to know Ah, sure. Hi Landa, what's up? Looks like everybody else has gone in already. Think we should head in too? Why are you asking me? Oh, fight! Just trying to have a fucking conversation is the most hard. Oh, it's Ken. Is in Ken from P three FES or Ken from like off uh, spin off things? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Polling? Spinoffs, MP3 in general, spinoffs? I thought it was a different actor for spinoffs. I don't know, if it is, if it is P3 FES Ken, then that's incredible. I can't hear it even slightly. What? This game's got a time limit too? Uh... What? <laughs> Hello? What? What? What the hell? Who's this? Fuck if I know. Look, it doesn't matter who she is, just get everybody over here! Y yeah right. Hey, there's a body in the room? Hey guys, guys, get over here. Uh, we found someone. There's a, a, a lady over here. She's unconscious? I didn't wait for a response, just turned around and followed Fi into the room. We knelt down next to the woman and turned her over as gently as we could. Manage. All that greeted us was... Oh. <laughs> She's covered in blood! Our body has been discovered! I leaned down to listen to her- listen, sorry, listen to her mouth. I leaned down to listen at her mouth. Nothing. No breath. With shaking hands, I felt against her neck for a pulse. No movement, just cold skin. Oh dang. Gorps. What the hell were you yelling at? What's going on here? Gorps. Is she? <gasps> Corpse! <laughs> Corpse, an enemy! Okay. Quark! Don't look! Somebody get Quark out of here! Uh, okay. C come on, Quark. Then... she's... Yeah. She's not breathing, and I can't find a pulse. Her body's already cold, so I'm guessing she was... I'm guessing she was murdered a while ago. Murdered? Well, this doesn't look natural. <laughs> Does this look like an accident or a suicide to you? Hmm. 
Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them. Part of them? Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab someone in the heart. Oh. What are you suggesting? It's just a joke. Fine. You're kind of mean. Don't take it so seriously. I, what do you mean? Whatever. <laughs> if we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Fine, there's so much wrong with you. I want to screenshot Clover's face. Sorry, I just, I just have to. Like, what is going on? Anyway. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old, but she's still a woman. That's the best line that's ever been written in any story ever. She might be old, but she's still a woman. <laughs> Why do people... <laughs> If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. <laughs> Unlike men, so true. Come on, boys, let's go. Come on, boys. What? Who are you, fire? <sighs> D.O.K. and I gingerly lifted the woman up and carried her to the infirmary. Perhaps he just didn't consider himself one of the boys. Or maybe it was something else. But whatever the reason, Temioji at least. <laughs> Temioji wasn't one of the boys. His whole body was rigid, like a rope pulled almost to its breaking point. But it was his eyes that caught my attention. They were beautiful. He wasn't staring at us, not quite. It was more like he was staring toward us. A smoldering spark of something burning slightly, silently behind his gaze. Damn, okay. It wasn't until we were almost to the infirmary that I realized Temioji hadn't spoken a single word since the moment we'd found the body. I turned to look back at him. He was following us at a distance, his breathing heavy. <laughs> like this. Damn. And his reflex slow and shuffling as if his body was suddenly made of lead. Made of lead? Why am I? She is clearly not fighting her inner demons. Very good, very good, very good. The old woman's body was surprisingly light. Carrying her felt almost like carrying an old dry piece of wood. We set her down carefully in the infirmary bed as if we were afraid she might break. <laughs> she looks so peaceful. Almost like she's just going to wake up any minute now. Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Let's hope so. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. You mean like an autopsy or something? I'm just going to have a look at the wound. She may be an old dry piece of wood, but she's still a woman. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... What? <laughs> I have a medical license. Yo? You're a nurse? No. Yo, Cork, that was a bit assuming. <laughs> You're a doctor? Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. She may be a doctor, but she's still a woman. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. He may be a monster, but he's still a woman. He may have lived inside another man for ten years, but he is still a woman. <laughs> Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Oh, um... I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Oh, yeah? And just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice, Clover, and I examined this entire room. 
Oh, okay, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so you think you can use it to perform some kind of autopsy? Yes. I think I should be able to manage that. Luna ran the scanner over the body, then turned back to the terminal. The display filled up with text, most of it rather technical. Sex, female, estimated age, 65 to 75 years. Diagnosis, deceased. <laughs> My diagnosis is death. Cause of death, exsanguination. Exsanguination. Estimated time of death, three to four hours. Damage trajectory, weapon entered through fourth intercostal piercing heart. Wound characteristics, clean, continuous. One sharp, one blunt. Cavity, yeah. Uh, conclusion, based on the characteristics described above, there is a 95% chance the wound was caused by a sharp, single-bladed instrument. Oh, that's what did it. The death got her, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I don't really get it. What's it mean by instrument? Was she stabbed with a clarinet? It means a tool of some sort. Oh my gosh, yes, we can definitely have the, the command, Angie. Hold on, do I even remember how to do it? Hold on. Wait, no, do I? Hold on. Oh wait, Megan's got it. Perfect! A knife, probably. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Yes. Well, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. I don't want to do that. Okay, <laughs> you're so cute. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? We found the old lady in one of the A-B rooms, specifically the one farthest to the left. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. You, that and you Clover. know of. Only one of you was conscious. Fie, please, stop joking around. I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Perhaps, but... There was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Yes, there was. But Zero said he locked all the hatches. Well, Zero wouldn't lie. Well, if he was telling the truth, nobody could have gotten in there after you two left. Which means... You fucking bastard! Why'd you kill her, Kay? I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero. Wait a minute, please. <gasps> whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Just whoa! calm down. Whoa! You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? Uh, well, because... Dio. Because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. That's not a logical argument. Still... You do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt. But it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? I guess... <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? She's having the time of her life. She's, you know, third time's the charm for the nonary games, and she's, this one, this one's the one. She's having a great time. I live in the master computer. Sparkle on. That means all the electronic doors in this cool warren are under my control. Six more nonary games and she'll become the true nonary game. Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly. But now the unexpected has happened, and 
he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. Is it? The murderer is Zero, or rather Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. There was something else to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Senior murdered her, just as planned. Death is only another part of the game. Zero doesn't just kill women, he murders them. <laughs> Killing someone is just part of a game to him? Well, there's no way to know for sure. Okay, honey. But I would assume so. Having a bad time. Oh. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. For real? Whoa! What was that? I don't know. Well, one thing's for sure. And that is? If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. You see? Just as I said. Zero Junior ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the A-B rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all, he told us he'd give us specifics once we'd gone in. Okay. <sighs> if you experience too much trauma, I guess you eventually accept the situation you're in and have fun. <laughs> I find it interesting that Zero is a rabbit, but it's only because of the freaking rabbit murders that happened in the first game. We're really going in there? I kind of don't want to. I mean, there was a dead lady in there just a few minutes ago. Huh? Wait. Fine. Where did you go? Up here. Oh. Up. Whoa! What the hell is she doing? You must be really desperate to get high. Seriously? That's the best you can do? I was expecting something about how I jump at the first sign of trouble. Whatever. What are you up to? Uh, what are you up to up here? What, what are you up to up here anyway? Everybody's already gone into the AB rooms. Yeah, well, there was something I wanted to check out. And that is... This thing. Remember it? Hi, Mr. Webb. The hatch? Try opening it. <laughs> no luck. <laughs> it won't budge. Hmm. Then that means this AV room is locked down tight. No one could get in. You're talking about whoever killed that old lady, aren't you? Yeah. You still think it's Kay, huh? Well, like Clover said, if Zero Senior is the killer, then it wouldn't matter if we could open this hatch or not. I know. I just wanted to be sure. Five minutes remain until Abidex game polling closes. Let's go. I imagine Algernon's waiting for us. Algernon? Oh, uh, he's a rabbit? I don't get it, but that's okay, Fi. I think you're funny, but I just don't understand literally any of the jokes you make. Look, there's something on the screen. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The Ambidex game will now begin. To enter your vote... Oh my god, what the hell is it? Okay. Please touch the start button on your screen. Once you have entered your vote, the door will lock automatically. If It will not open again until polling period is finished. I'll get on with my... Okay, okay, thank you. Y'all are so smart. Okay. It messed me up. Oh no. Well, looks like there's no going back now. Astute observation. I'm just 
just a boy! Why are you so mean? I'm just a guy. Hooray! <laughs> Everybody's finally here! Okay. I said waiting. So have we! <laughs> I like the idea that Sigma's just like into this now. He's like, you know what? If I'm in a game show, then let's go. I've been waiting. So have we! Everybody! Are you ready for the Ambidex game? Yeah! We've got some questions for you, Zero. <laughs> Who was that old what? Will all of you please stop bombarding me with questions? <laughs> all the other people in the other rooms are asking this stuff just like you are, Siggy. I guess you probably can't hear them since these rooms are completely soundproof, but B.O. is especially loud. <laughs> for real, B.O., I need you to shut up. Shut up, be quiet. There isn't much time. I gotta hurry and explain all this stuff, or the game will end before I'm done. So, no more questions from now on. No answers for anybody, okay? You just have to learn. Now, let's get this party started! Who is Bio? Bio is Dio. Let me tell you about the end. You're obviously going to have an opponent. But it's not like this is a battle royale where you just fight everybody. Each round will be a one on one battle. Mono a mono or mono a womano. Well, there are two people in each pair, aren't there? So it'll be more of a two on one battle, I guess. <laughs> now, I want to hear all wondering who your opponent is going to be. It's actually really easy. You'll be competing against whoever you paired up with to go through the chromatic doors. <gasps> no! For example, we Siggy like, and no, Fido paired no, up no, with no. Umi and went through the magenta door, didn't they? I'm worried she's just gonna die. That means no. that Siggy and Fido will be playing against Mooney. And it goes the other way too. Mooney's opponent will be Siggy and Fido. Obviously, that means Potassium and Cleaver's enemy will be Alas. And Bio and Quirk's enemy will be Ten Me Oldie. Well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? Okay. After all, if you choose ally, then they're your ally. What? Don't get it? <laughs> well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? <laughs> Better than Junko. <laughs> all you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! Ruby P will go up or down. It's a little complicated, and some of you are a little slow. So, I made this handy chart. The plus and minus are from your point of view. So, let's say you choose ally, and so does your opponent. You'll get 2 BP, and so will they. Okay. And you'll all get a nice warm, fuzzy feeling inside. We call that the best pals outcome. Aww. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? No. Next is what you get if you choose ally, but your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose 2 BP, and they get free. Three. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. Somebody did that to me like Skittle and Stool with some tires. But their choice is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray, but your nice, innocent opponent chooses ally. This time, you're the one who gets 3 BP, and they're the one who loses 2. Okay. We call that the serves them right outcome. 
I mean, what were they thinking? Choosing ally was a stupid choice, and there's nothing for you to feel guilty about. Okay. And finally, the very last scenario. This is when you choose betray, and so does your opponent. If that happens, neither of you guys will lose anything. Absolutely zero change of your uh, Boring. We call this the why even bother outcome. <laughs> So funny. As the game master, <laughs> this is the situation I oh. want to avoid the most. Okay. You're probably wondering about the pears, aren't you? No. Let me explain. Remember how I told you that both people in a pair share a destiny? Well, oh. that applies here too. Fine, we're gonna be nice, okay? But Don't! You can only get one vote. No! You get to choose once no. between ally or betray. No, Fi, I'm really trying to riz up Luna. Please don't mess this that up. It doesn't mean you split your points, though. They both get three points, or lose two points, or whatever. In other words, what you see on this chart is what you get. Okay, then. I think that about does it for the basic rules. Well, actually, there's a little bit more, but... Just have to wait, I guess. Someone's gonna die! <laughs> it's almost time! <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> wait. No. Oh. I won't wait and I can't wait. Didn't you hear me? It is time! <laughs> One wow. minute remains until Abadex game polling closes. One minute? You see, it's time for me to be hopping on out of here. I'm worried Fly's gonna want to betray. See you later. She's like, oh, well, Luna's nice, so we'll get points. Oh. Have a nice trouble. Thank you. We don't have time to talk about this. Choose betray. No! What? <laughs> You're kidding. You really want me to betray Luna? We don't know if she'll ally or not. If we choose ally and she chooses betray, we're screwed. But I don't want That's to. A loss of two points. I don't care. You tell me, Sigma. What's three minus two? Uh, three minus two. Ooh, uh, e. Uh. Ooh, I wonder if like you lose all of your BP, you just die. That would be kind of crazy. That would be a little fun. <laughs> what kind of idiot do you think I am? It's one, obviously. Exactly. If our BP gets down to one, it's over. So? Wait, what do you mean, wait, it's over? 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Just press the damn button. No! You're hiding something. Yeah, you've been suspicious from the get-go. I mean, how do you know my name? Well, how about when we found that old lady's body? You didn't even blink. Almost like you knew she would be here. Look, I don't want to believe it, but did you? Are you? Fine. If you won't do it, then I... No! Don't think so! I'm not gonna move until you give me some answers. If I don't do anything, then there's no ally for us anyway. So let's hear it. What are you hiding? What it's over supposed to mean? Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine. Eight. Seven. She's at a loss for words. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two. When your BP hits zero, you die. Yay! That's what I meant. Why did you One. Wait? What's wrong with you, man? Ally. Oh, it's being recorded. Am I gonna die? That'd be kind of fun. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Oh my god, we all get to find out together! That's so Thank fun! You for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. 
I can't betray Luna. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make her fall in love with me. I'm trying to roleplay Sigma and Sigma is on that grind set, man. Luna, more like, love her. As Fai and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running toward the monitor, shoving and pushing to get closer. Temuji was left behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? What was that, Sigma? Music. <laughs> huh? Don't play dumb. You chose ally. Did you don't don't run the This what you reveal hasn't happened yet, fine! Didn't you hear me? I told you that if your BP drops to zero, you die. <laughs> yeah, I heard you. A whole second before the deadline. How can you expect me to think anything through that quick? It would have taken like half a second just to process what you'd said. No, you could have done it. Hmm? The brain's processing power increases during a crisis. No. You need an emergency to have an epiphany. It starts working so fast that a second can seem like an eternity. No! Your brain was doing that right before time ran out, no! wasn't it? Well, am I wrong? Oh, maybe I actually had time to make a decision, but I was just so stressed out I went with the right with the option I wanted. <laughs> what? what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> okay, fine. Let's be generous and say hypothetically that you're right about this crisis overclocking thing. How would you know whether or not my brain was doing that? Did you crack open my skull while I wasn't looking? You just wedge a microscope in there and have a look at my neurons? Let me be straight with you. Your shit is whack. Like, hella whack. <laughs> I mean, you just know stuff you shouldn't. Stuff like my name, or how if, you're, how if your BP hits zero, you die. You told me you don't know why, but more and more I'm starting to think you've been lying to me. Yo, what's up? What's up? Siggy! Hello! Hello! <laughs> okay, what are you kids doing over there? Arguing? We're about to announce the results. Okay. You know what? I'm fully on zero on zero side. Phi is my enemy. Zero is my friend. It's we're we're Let's doing go. that. Let's go. That's it. Time to see what the results are. Can't believe Phi is zero. <laughs> I like her computer, but not her. Maybe it's different this time. Huh? Different this time. This time. No, oh, jeez. Hey! Fine, hold on. Shit. Aw, oh, she. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! Amber Dex Game! I trust in Luna. I 100% definitely trust in Luna, and I'm sure, even given Fi's comment, that there's no way that this can go wrong and that my and Luna's love story is beginning right here, right now. She's gonna be like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for choosing Ally on me. I would never betray you ever. Wow, and also you're like six foot five. That's crazy. Round one! The results! And your memory is so good. If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Ooh, that's fun. Ooh. Okay. Luna. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, this is an interesting one. Kay and Clover betrayed. Which I guess was more on Kay's side than Clover. I don't... Interesting. This one, the middle one is pretty expected. I thought that that was how that was going to go. But Kay and Clover betraying Alice is interesting. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. <gasps> oh. 
Thanks, Luna. Oh no, it's nothing. You don't have to thank me. I only did what anybody would have done. Right, that's exactly what I'm saying. And you know, Fi, she wanted to betray you. Crazy, right? I believed in you and Fi. Oh no, not for me. Just me. Me. When Luna glanced away, I threw Fi what could only be described as a smug grin. Rather frustratingly, she didn't respond, only turned away, unperturbed. I was about to press the issue when I heard Tenmyoji's voice. Quark, what happened? No, no, it wasn't me! Mr. Dio tricked me! Oh. He told me he'd pick Ally! He, he, he promised! That's why I let him do the voting! Oh. Is this true, Dio? Are you serious? This kid's full of shit! What? I didn't do squat. Quark was the one who decided how we were gonna vote. You wanna know what he told me? You just leave the voting to me, Mr. Dio. <laughs> Grandpa's gonna choose to ally for sure, cause I'm his opponent on this one. I think we should betray. <laughs> to be honest, I'm getting kinda tired of that grumpy old bastard. He's had a good life, but it's time for him to go. <laughs> what do you say we leave the old fart here and leave? I've got a plan. See? Don't worry about me. I'll just tell him you tricked me. <laughs> I want this to be real. He'll believe whatever I tell him. <laughs> Besides, if he still trusts me, oh. that'll make it easier to use him again later. True. What do you say, Mr. Dio? Pretty good plan, huh? All right, let's do it. <laughs> Holy shit, someone get that child. Yeah, you're lying! I never should have trusted you! Dio! Dio! You're a lying jerk! Sure, kid, keep whining. See if I care. Grandpa! You believe me, right? Don't let this brat fool you, old man. All of this is just part of his plan. You bastard! I'm not gonna let you get away with this! <laughs> That's enough, Quark. Don't lose your temper. How long have I known you? <laughs> I could be deaf and blind, and I'd still know if you were lying to me. Really? <laughs> You're just as gullible as he said you'd be. Hook, line, and sinker. Let me give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. That little shit is a hell of an actor. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. I don't know what he is to you, but if I were you, I'd trust the kid as far <laughs> as I could throw him, and at your age, that can't be much. That was so unnecessary! You hearing me, old man? <laughs> Keep an eye on him. Oh my god. It's all right. I understand. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Her smile right now is freaky as fuck. What? Oh my god. This is like the Dark Mirror Bizarre version of Akihiko Ken. It literally is. It's it's AU alternate universe Ken and Aki. It's incredible. This is very unfortunate. It looked as though another argument had taken place while Quark and, Quark and Dio were fighting. Whatever it had been about, it appeared to have resolved itself. The past is the past. There's no point complaining about it. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AV game. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? I really want to learn how Alice's boob ring works. So there's this thing, um, uh, it's called fiction. It's pretty crazy. Um, you can just do whatever you want and like we can just all pretend like that works in any way. There you go. 
Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game ice was nine. to get nine BP? Power of Ice Nine. All the ice melted, but her boobs were frozen in place forever. It's devastating. That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right, you are. So, let me just close up. I thought we were gonna go again. I was like, no, it's pretty fun. It's pretty juicy. The Ambidex Gates have closed. Round two of the Ambidex Game will be the Moon Round. Moon cards will be required to open the gates. Okay. We have sun before you. Moon cards. Does that mean we can't use these cards anymore since they've got suns on them? Yes, indeedy. Now, you'll have to look the cards with moons on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? Play us three. Because moon starts on. I don't know. As many times as you need to. Although I guess we can get multiple of each card. It's anybody's guess how long it'll go. But I plan on keeping this party going until somebody opens the number nine door. So it's over when someone gets nine BP. No. As long as that person doesn't open the number nine door, the game goes on. Of course, you could also get stuck just below nine BP, where every bunny just keeps going back and forth and back and forth and losing points. After all, if there's no bunny with nine BP. The door can't open. If that happens, you'll just have to continue on to round three, and round four, and round five, round 100, round 2000. You might even go all the way up to round 24 billion, 9 million, 4,897. <gasps> Although, I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? I don't know. Can you? Whoa, that's really cool. You can go into the secondary doors, right? Like, you have to have three people, exactly. Yeah, so? Well, what about the number nine door? Are the rules the same? Nope. There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. Okay. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine of you. Uh, <laughs> there is one thing we'll see. Yeah? All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors? Yeah? Maybe it's not 100% Oh! What? What do you mean? You would lie? Well, you can open the door with just one or two people if you want. <gasps> That's not what you told us. You lie? Well, I didn't want to make things complicated. Then explain it now. Just use the bracelets. What? How? Clover, come on. This There's is your third time. There's a sort of scanner between the two doors. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning the people. So it's scanning the bracelets then? Ding ding ding! Wow, as we're going through the, the plot of 999 far quicker. Bracelets, But, wait, hold on a minute. Do these things e even come off? No, yes. They do indeed. Then, then how do I take it off? Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door and escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks all by itself. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, Bio. I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? 
Of course I do. No, oh well. I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You die. Yay! Here's an exciting fact. Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Yeah! Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 when someone dies on a TV show. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. I think I love the bunny. I think I, d I think I, I think I started in, in hatred and I've just like worked my way the whole way back and I did a circle, but somehow I love the bunny now. It's very confusing and I, <laughs> I don't really get it. And that's fine. Stockholm syndrome is real. Wait. <laughs> you fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always <sighs> watching. So. When that signal goes away... The lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep! So there you go! The second way! Come to the dark side, we love the bunny. I think I'm- I think I'm that. I think I'm with you. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there's no other way to get the bracelets off. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you you'll have be disobeying comms? the rules. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. But if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round! Ha <laughs> ha Oops! Yay. Oh. I guess it's not gonna be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. Yay! There. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be ten me all the or less. One or the other. Oh my god. Or... <gasps> it might be both of them. <laughs> Wait, what? Why am I going to die? Because you don't have that many points. I guess I can tell you why. Not like me. Me and my girl Luna. We're like, we got a lot of points. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. Just like when you break the rules. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is. You mean the needles in our bracelets are gonna activate and we'll die? Correct, Siggy. Full marks. Thanks. So, Phi had been right, but how had she known before Zero told us? I She's see. like three time loops ahead of us. Alice and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew, right? Fine you. Create drama. Sigma, just do it. Just create the drama. Just be the one that stirs the pot, man. Call Phi out immediately. Be like, fine you, Phi told me. Right, Fido. Oh yeah, let's go! <laughs> yeah. No, 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 I say. Guess so. Say Sigma, 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 Sigma. I took a moment to go over everything in my head. Sigma, do it! Just, it's fun! I mean, she's our pair, so maybe we shouldn't, but what a- it's fun! The AB game would continue until someone opened the number 9 door. There were no rules about how many people could or couldn't pass through the number 9 door. That meant it was possible for everyone to escape. The secondary chromatic doors could be opened by any number of people as long as you had the right bracelets. 
Bracelets will only unlock under two conditions, leaving the building or heart stopping. If your BP hit zero, the needles in your bracelet would activate, killing you. Uh oh, one last thing. The next set of chromatic doors you'll be going through are downstairs. You already saw them, right? There should have been three. Red, blue, and green. That means that to get through, you'll need bracelets in cyan, magenta, and yellow. But wait, you've already got those bracelets. Have a look. The color's changed, hasn't it? Yeah, it did change. Mine changed from red to cyan. Me too. Ooh. Mine's cyan now. Wait, but she's a pair now, right? Wait, wait. Mine too. She paired with me? <gasps> oh. Wait. I guess the colors weren't the only thing that changed. It switched from pair to solo. Okay, I'm very glad about that. Because I was like, it would be kind of a shame if we were stuck with Fi like the entire game and like therefore we couldn't do. Although I, I thought because maybe the rule change, maybe we could then pair up as a four or something. But that's good, anyway. You're right. Mine switched from solo to pair. Mine is now a solo as well. Yep, looks like mine's changed too. I've gone from solo to pair. <gasps> I hope you're I'm over. still a pair. Aw. The three of us seem to be magenta now as well. Thank you for the high dream. I'm yellow. And it still says solo. Fi, you and Dio are yellow now too, right? Yeah. Looks like I'm a pair. When did they change? <laughs> when did they change? I love Back that. when the AB gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too! And of course, it's totally random. Whoa. No rules or anything! Wow! Now, with all of that explained, I must bid you adieu. I'll miss you. Sadly, we may never meet again. What? What? anything for me to facilitate anymore. I mean, you guys are good from here, right? I'll never see you guys again. No, don't cry. I'll cry if you cry. Don't do that. No. No. Did you really think I was going to cry? Oh. Hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. Oh. <laughs> that sounds gross. I don't really want to think about that. <laughs> um, so what happens now? We've still got a while until the chromatic doors open. Yeah, it looks like about 42 minutes. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. Uchikoshi played Danganronpa and went, Monokuma should fuck off after he explains the rules. <laughs> I've had enough of that little bear. If there's a chance Zero missed something. 
I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking. And if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Milkman comedy. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections? There were none. After some nods and mumbling, they split up and moved off to investigate. Damn, all aligned with my thoughts, eh? I was the only person who stayed behind. Sigma is crying over Zero, man. Sigma was so attached to this little bunny. He literally is staying in the warehouse, trying to pretend like he's not crying. He's having a breakdown. Damn. How the hell did I end up here? Why? Why me? Try as I might, I couldn't think of anything I'd done that could have landed me in Zero's game. Are you projecting onto the silent protagonist? No, I believe it's in character. I, he doesn't really have much character, but I believe it's his character. I hadn't pissed anyone off. At least not this bad. I didn't owe anybody money, and my family certainly wasn't rich. If anyone was hoping to get a fat ransom payout for me, they were going to be very disappointed. Obviously, I wasn't some kind of genius, nor was I an Olympic athlete, and I certainly hadn't been chosen by God to fulfill some great purpose on his earth. Well... At least if I was, I didn't know it yet. Had I started a fight with a frightening and mysterious new religion? <laughs> no! <laughs> Had I hacked into some terrorist group server? No, I don't think so. Had I witnessed an assassination? No. Had I gotten wasted and had a one-night stand with the mistress of a prominent politi politician? Well, yes. But it was just the one time. <laughs> and she was the one who went after me. Anyway, I was- <laughs> Anyway, I was just an ordinary college student in my- uh, apartment that I've lived in for two years and seven months. It cost me $630. If there was a reason I'd been abducted and put in the nonary game, I sure couldn't see it. Why was this happening to me? I thought back to what I'd been doing right before I was taken. The memories were still a little blurry, but they were there. Sigmund does fuck. He fucks for real. December 25th, 2028, early morning. California desert. Yeah. The moon was beautiful, just like me. i just finished writing a paper due that day. I was heading to my car from the research building. The parking lot was empty and a bright moon cast sharp shadows across the chilly pavement. The last time I looked at the clock, it had said it was two in the morning, which meant that today was Christmas day. So why was I at school typing away feverishly on Christmas? There were the three reasons. First, my home computer had suddenly decided to eat shit. When I hit the power button, I just got nothing. I didn't have the time to spend all night troubleshooting this stupid thing, so I headed back to campus to use one of the school machines. Second, the professor in charge of my research group was a Buddhist. Christmas didn't appear to have any sort of significance to him, and part of me couldn't shake the thought that he was trying to make some kind of point. But my gut. Oh. <laughs> I didn't last long. My girlfriend had broken up with me a week before. I'm sorry. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Goodbye. All I got was that one cold email. Try as I might, I couldn't even get in touch with her. Of course, that meant I wouldn't be attending the party we'd been planning on going to. Somehow, I didn't think drinking by myself around a bunch of happy couples would really be a good idea. Go back to that, I'm more into that. Let's get into that. Are you okay? Why should she email? She emailed it? At any rate, 
I stayed up all night to finish my paper and emailed it off to my professor before the sun, sun began to rise. As I walked across the parking lot, I felt light. Perhaps it was the relief of finishing my paper, or perhaps it was the five energy drinks I chugged to stay awake. <laughs> perhaps it was both. <laughs> I think you're clinically insane. I slid into my car and stuck the key into the ignition after only two tries. I love him, but who is he? I twisted the key. <laughs> I'm six foot five, by the way. Nothing happened. <laughs> huh? I jiggled the key in the slot and tried again. Punches his cheek. Pinches. No, you said you said what you meant. You you said what you meant. <laughs> and again. And again. On the fifth try, the engine made an odd creaking noise, like metal on metal, and fell silent. God damn it. You stupid piece of shit! I screamed and pounded on the steering wheel, but nothing worked. The console was about to get a visit from my fist when... Bad. <laughs> you just have bad, bad three, right? Okay. Huh? What? What the hell is this? Why is my car smoking? I clawed at the door, and for a moment I thought that it was just my panic and lack of sleep that were keeping me from opening it. It wasn't long before I realized the truth. Shit! Open, goddammit! What was going on? My mind was racing, trying desperately to puzzle out what was happening through a haze of fear and caffeine-fueled neuron misfires. <laughs> that was when I saw it. Just a glimpse in the rearview mirror, but I was certain there was someone behind my car. And I just googled it, and apparently he's canonically six foot two. So he says he's six foot five. I've got it. Uh, there was someone behind my car. I spun around as fast as a very tired college student sitting in a car can. <laughs> Who, who's there? My vision started to swim as the smoke filled the car. The more of it I inhaled, the heavier my body felt, and I could already feel the world starting to go dark. The last of my strength failed and I collapsed sideways into the passenger seat. My eyes slowly drooped closed. I like how he was like, damn, I've got really blurry memories of the night. Anyway, I had five energy drinks. I tried to put the key into the car three times. I twisted the car five, the car key five times. <laughs> Who on earth is six foot two? My brother is six foot five, at least. I think he might be six foot six. I don't know. He's very tall. Many people are, are silly, silly tall. When they were opened again, I was in the AB room with Fi. Why is this happening to me? Two milkmen. I spent a few minutes wallowing in misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. But even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Like Kay had said, we need to at least try and find another way out. So I shook my head to clear it, stood up straight and headed off. Let's go to the infirmary. infirmary. I hope to do this. I'm not down bad, I'm just role-playing Sigma. Hello, oh my god, actually available in five minutes? It's, it's happening. It's time. Hello, CL. How are you doing? Oh, no, I'm happy with this trio. How's it going? You guys find anything? Hello, Mr. Sigma. Hello. Nothing yet. Oh. Well, Alice, Clover, and I did go over this room quite thoroughly. I doubt you'll find any hidden hallways here. Why are you back here then? Uh, well, I was concerned about the lady you found. She's dead, man. What do you mean concerned? She's gone. It's over. Who would do such a horrible thing? 
Given what we know so far, you're the most likely candidate. Fi! I want you to fi King Relax, man! Chill! Chill! Fi, Chill! Please. Sit down! Relax! Why would I kill this woman? Dear yeah, God. Denali, thank you for the follow. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the evidence points to you right now. No, it if we doesn't. find more evidence in the future, that could change. We were so busy earlier that I never got to ask, but do any of you know who she is? Beats me. I've never seen her before. I don't know her either. Neither do I. Well, I suppose I might have known her before I lost my memories, but there's no way to know, is there? Happy me to at least for a bit. It's lovely to have you. You still can't remember anything? No. Not even a little, unfortunately. You better be telling the truth about this amnesia stuff. Are you suspicious of me too, Sigma? Oh, no. Suspicious? Have you looked in a mirror lately? You might as well have suspicious tattooed across your forehead. If someone ran into you on the street at night, they'd probably pass out from fright. Or maybe even during the day. Oh. I'm so sorry. Give him a brain! Just give him a... Just give him a... Just stop! I apologize for my frightening appearance. Well, it's not really something you need to apologize for. I mean, it's not your fault, right? No. I suppose not. Well, I assume not. But... But what? I'm not sure why, but none of this feels particularly strange. The mask and the suit, I mean. In a way, it almost feels... Natural. I don't feel as though I was forced into it. Are you saying this is how you always look? No, I don't think that's it. This might be a pretty obvious question, but is there any way for you to take it off? No, I've tried several times to no avail. I honestly don't even know where to start. Ah, but there is something I'd like to ask of you. There are parts of the suit I can't see. Could you have a look and tell me if perhaps there is a switch or something similar? Of course! With no further warning, he removed his robe and turned his back to us. It took no time at all to find something of interest. Oh, there's a thing that says open! <laughs> there's a hole here on the back of your head. A hole? Yeah. Looks like you insert something. It says open, so maybe if you put some kind of key in there. You could open up the suit and take the mask off. I see. That's excellent news. We just need to find whatever it is that goes in there then. Yeah. Thank you. I feel somewhat relieved. I was beginning to fear I might have to spend the rest of my life like this. How does he pee? Hawk might be about to ask this question. A minute ago, you said that it felt oh. natural. Well, it does. But that doesn't mean I want to stay in it forever. Does the metal suit have a little key flap? Piss cabinet? <laughs> Piss cabinet. Piss cabinet. Okay. Piss cabinet, right. Yeah. Imagine having glasses, for instance. Piss safe. <laughs> Wearing them doesn't feel strange, but you'd hardly want to wear them all the time, forever, would you? Piss mode. That's what wearing the suit is like. You've heard of all gear mode. Next, piss mode. Well, I think that's enough about me. Should we move to the next room now? No. There still might be something here. Or PMO. <laughs> I'm staying. Me too. Hasta la vista, or PMO. I see. Well then. Oh 
I will move ahead and see how our companions are doing. What do you intend to do? Huh. I think I'll be moving along too. Where do you plan to go? I'm gonna go to the crew quarters. <laughs> I'm thinking I might go over to the crew quarters. Very well. Man, Blue would have loved OPO mode. To be fair, I think Blue was like technically on OPO mode at all times. With the extent to that, the amount of times that man pissed. He... I shall head for the lounge then. Until we meet again. Until we Excuse meet me. again. Goodbye. I love him. Kay's robe flowed silently around him as he turned to leave. I made my way, a way out of the infirmary behind him. The music's cool! I like that there's some of the old music and there's some of the new music. It's, it's good. Cruel quarters. Huh? So these are the crew quarters, huh? Oh, Sigma. Hi! What are you doing here? Just checking in. Hey, come on, man. Don't be like that. We aren't enemies, are we? Huh. Maybe we could be friends. Maybe we could be more. I wonder. What happened to you, Temyoji? You've been acting weird ever since we found that lady's body. You know, Temyoji, ever since we came across that dead corpse, you've been really different. Oh, you think so? Hannah, please, if we can P and P3 are uh, uh, really, can you please, when we go to the toilet, activate a soundbite that just goes hot? <laughs> Absolutely. You're going to have to remind me when we get to Persona 3 Reload, but yes. Absolutely. I'm in. But you sure it ain't just all in your head? Fine. Let's move on to something else then. <laughs> you and Cork. Is he your uh, grandkid? Why do you want to know? Just trying to make friends, man. Why? Well, I mean, why do you think? He keeps calling you grandpa. Of course, I'm going to wonder what the deal is. We all got kidnapped and brought here, apparently, for no reason. Now they're making us all play some sort of weird game. I'm just trying to find a little meaning in all this nonsense. That's it! So tell me, Temyoji, are you really Cork's grandpa? Oh, jeez. Who's that? Oh, hello. Clover. Luna. Sigma, where'd you come from? Do you not want me here? No, it's okay, I guess. I just thought Tenmyoji was the only other person here. Now we were just hanging out. This is the crew quarters. I came here with Clover and Tenmyoji. We decided we'd split up to investigate. Huh. Makes sense. So you find anything? Zero. You found zero? <laughs> what? Which one? No, I meant I found zero things. Sigma, don't make the same jokes as me. Stop! What about you? Anything suspicious? I didn't find anything either. That's so interesting, because I found um, the love of my life. Although, I guess you could say this whole facility is suspicious. <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. So, why do you think Zuri put all these puzzles and stuff all over the place? Hmm. Well, maybe solving all of these puzzles is part of the Nonary game. Really? I thought the Nonary game was a couple rounds of the AB game. Why would he need the puzzles and stuff then? Maybe you are Sigma. Maybe. Maybe? Well, what is the Nonary game then? Why is Zero making us do this? Um, well, this is just, um, speculation, but... Yeah? Maybe it's for entertainment. <gasps> so rich, powerful people can watch. That makes sense. Yes. Entertainment? They're probably off in an opulent theater, watching us struggle while they drink brandy and eat caviar. Well, you think so, huh? <sighs> makes sense. So some rich bastards killed her off for kicks. What kind of a death is that? Well, maybe her dying didn't have anything to do with the rest of the game. 
No. Kay was right. If her dying wasn't part of all this, the rabbit would have said something. But what do we get? Nothing. Just tells us to keep playing and disappears. I can only think of one reason he'd do that. Murdering her was always part of Zero's plans. <laughs> I'm rich. Who do we like now? Uh, I'm just, I don't know why. I don't really have any reason for it, but I think S Sigma and Luna is cute. Now, if you can think of another way all this fits, well, I'd love to hear it. So you're saying that Zero Senior is the one who murdered the old lady? Now, it sure looks that way. That means there's a seven in one chance anybody could be the murderer. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, seven? Well, Alice and I can't be zero. Oh, wait, yeah, you did do the mouse run. Okay, uh, I'll let the iPod go, but you're gonna have to give me a little to convince- You're gonna have to give me a little to convince me Alice can't be zero. What? Come on, Alice and I know each other. Well, um, how do you know each other? Uh, I guess you could say we're co-workers. Mm, boy. <laughs> What kind of sick pack would watch this for fun? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, my good. And where do you co watch? An organization? That's kind of vague. What kind of organization? Um, that's. I can't tell you. Why? <laughs> What? What do you mean you can't tell us? I mean, I can't tell you. Just forget about it, okay? No. Why can't you tell us? Because it's confidential. I promised I wouldn't tell. Oh, come on. Don't give me that. Look around you, Clover. You really think this is the time for playing it close to the chest? Yeah. But what if the people you work for have something to do with what's going on here? Yeah. You're right. <laughs> what if? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm just gonna smile. Maybe I should tell you. Maybe you should. Finally. Sorry, but I just don't really trust you guys. Okay. I mean, what if one of you is Zero? It could be any of you. Sorry. Anyway, I think that's enough about me and Alice. I just don't really feel like I can trust you guys. Maybe if that changes, then I can tell you. So, I guess I'll go now. Bye. Go? Where are you going? I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet. Okay. Then I'll be going too. Luna, no. Fine. Well, it's just me and you, Tamiyoji. There she goes. So, Tamiyoji. Save it. Oh. I don't trust you any more than she does. In other words, you aren't going to tell me anything, are you? Sorry. Well. I wish someone would just ask about me, because, like, I would love to be able to talk about my breakup with someone, and no one wants to hear any of my... Th I left Temiyuji and headed back to the hallway. There were so many questions I wanted answers to, but it was looking like I'd have to suffer in ignorance for a while longer. Besides, there were plenty of more immediate problems that needed my attention. I sighed and filed my questions away to be dealt with later. I needed to focus. There was only one room I hadn't visited. No one ever asked me about my trauma. I'm the main character and no one even cares. I went through a breakup and I had to write a paper really late. I had five Red Bulls. Please, hello. Oh, Sigma. Hi. Perfect timing. Oh, thank you. You were here earlier, right? Uh, yeah, I was. Fine, Luna and I were the first. Did you find room. anything suspicious? Like a uh, secret pathway or something? You really think that's the kind of detail I would have neglected to mention? Anything else then? Anything out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? Uh. Well, I mean, everything about this room is out of the ordinary. How about this? Isn't that obvious? It's an astronomy magazine. Apparently it's got an article about a lunar eclipse. It says it's gonna happen on December 31st, 2028. 
This New Year's Eve, then? Yeah. Six days from now. Wait, what did you say? What do you mean, six days? Uh, well, today is Christmas, right? So... W wait a minute. When were you grabbed? Didn't you hear me? On Christmas. About two or three in the morning? Wait, did they pick you up on a different day? Yeah. I was abducted in the middle of the night on December 22nd. What about you? I... Uh, I think it was the 20th. Then we were all taken on different days. Does that mean we were just sleeping until the nunnery game started? Maybe they kept us on a soporil IV trip or something? What is this? What? What? Dio. Calm yourself, sir. What is this slay? What is this? What's the top? What? Who are you? What's your job? Wait, what? Just explain everything to me about yourself, please. Circus trip. Milady. In theory, you could have everyone wake up at the same time if you got the dosage right. Then today might not even be the 25th. I think that's likely. Yeah. Some of us were probably abducted after you. Oh. Well, I guess that explains why I feel kind of dizzy. You too? I felt disoriented since I woke up. My body doesn't feel right. Maybe it's because we were asleep for so long. Your muscles start to atrophy if you don't use them. He loves training. Uh, then what day is today? Beats me. I have no idea. Well, what about you guys? Was there anything interesting in the crew quarters or the inform infirmary? Nah, nothing in the quarters. Oh well, there was a book about a cat. Oh. A cat? Yeah. Something about a cat in a box and whether it's dead or alive. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Didn't make any sense to me, though. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really sound like something that's going to help us get out of here. Yeah, I didn't think so either. How about the infirmary? Did you find anything interesting? Well, actually there was one thing. Everything he's saying is so Aki- It is! It's like, it's just like really aggressive, mean Aki. What? I wasn't trying to hide it. The right moment to mention it just never came up. You don't need to apologize. Just tell us what you found. Well, see for yourself. It's a newspaper article, looks like. Yeah, it was in the safe in the infirmary. Let me see that. Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. What the hell? What's Radical 6? Ice 9, let's go baby. Just read the article. I swallowed and began to read. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO... <laughs> the WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Do, do you think we're in a quarantine facility? You mean you think we got infected with this Radical 6 thing? I think you're pretty rad. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Oh. Well, we don't know anything for sure. But... The who? The bat? Yeah, they're letting us know our medical information. <laughs> Look at us. We seem pretty healthy. Admittedly, I don't know what the symptoms of Radical 6 are, but if it's killing people worldwide, they must be horrific. Now, just look at this soft, lustrous skin. This perfect, shapely face. Does this beauty look like something infected with an awful disease? You want to touch it, don't you, boy? I can see it in your eyes. Go on. Try. What's happening? Stop! 
Well, I am feeling a little weird. That could just be from sleeping for a couple of days. Or maybe it's a side effect of that drug. Are we just moving on from what just happened? Uh, besides, if this is where they ship people to quarantine them, don't you think there aren't enough, uh, people? This thing is killing people all over the world, right? So why would there only be nine of us here? Yeah, I guess you do have a point. Think about it. Zero is forcing us to play this nonary game. I think we all just agreed silently to move on. Um, also, is she, is her voice, is she Tor, is she, uh, Lotus? I'm only guessing that because Mitsuru, I also thought Lotus was Mitsuru. No? Who is this third person that sounds both like Mitsuru and Lotus? I'm lost. Why would the government quarantine people and then make them play a game? Also a good point. Yes, it is. So you're saying there's no connection between our abductions and this virus? You won't have harder in anything? Oh, okay. Well, you can say that. Probably not. Hmm. Well, it's still something we should remember, I suppose. I mean, even if we're safe in here, our friends and families are still out there. That's true. I hope they're all right. Wait a minute. How did this virus actually show up? I've never heard of it before. Neither have I. Me either. So what day is it? If this Radical Six killed hundreds of thousands of people while we were asleep, just how long have we been here for? I don't think you'll be able to just puzzle that out. If we want the truth, we need to find more information. Yeah, well, doesn't look like we're gonna have time for that. Oh, shit, we're late! Uh, yeah. All right, then. We should hurry. Run, 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 run! Radical 6 sounds more like a fun drug from the 80s than a deadly disease. Calling a disease radical was certainly a move that someone made, and I'm not sure why. Hello? Are we making any decisions? Chromatic doors have opened. Okay. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. You're late. Sorry. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. That's not good enough. You realize we could die here, right? Hey, Don't whoa, shine. calm down there, girl. I made it in time. Calm down there, girl. <laughs> God. That just reminds me of that line read of Aki where he's like, I agree. <laughs> I'm like... No! Barely. We've only got five minutes left. You're a yellow pair. Who do you think your partner is? Gee, I wonder. Ugh, you son of a- Come now, Fi. Please, calm down. Fighting now helps no one. Yeah, Fi. Sorry. <laughs> I love how Kay's just really calm and sweet, and then I just imagine someone being like, yeah! He's that. right, you know. The doors have already opened. We need to hurry up and figure out our teams. What did I do to deserve this asshole? You'd be more of a dick than him. Anyway, so how should we power up? We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. The options finally laid out for us were the following. That's my name. Ah. Uh... Alice and I, oh Luna, oh my god, I got my babe already, Jesus. Alice and I, Cyan, would pair up with Luna, Yellow, and go through the green door. Tenmyoji and Quark, Magenta, would pair up with 
Clover, Cyan, and open the blue door. Phi and Dio, yellow with powerful K, magenta, and open the red door. Option B, Alice and I with powerful K. Uh, Tamiyoji and Quark with powerful Luna. Phi and Dio with powerful Clover. Option C, Alice and I with Clover. Tamiyoji, Quark, K. Phi, Dio, Luna. Three minutes remain until... <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing? I'm not pairing up with Kay. Oh? Why not? We'd end up playing against each other in the next AB game. Last time, you betrayed Clover. Apparently, you're not the only one who thinks she sounds like Miss She does so much, right? How am I supposed to know you won't do the same to me? <laughs> you can't be trusted. How unfortunate. He's so cute, stop. To be honest, however, I would rather not go with you either. <gasps> yeah? What? Why's that? Well, you only have one BP left. I very much doubt you'll choose to ally in the next round. Even if you promised me you would choose to ally, I'd be in an undesirable situation. You see, I wouldn't be able to choose to betray. If I did, and you were true to your word and allied, then I would kill you. So there well, you, you can are. Both put, you just don't both do ally. That is why I do not wish to be paired with I don't remember Yoshi. how many numbers he has, though. Of course, for the same reason, I would rather not be paired with Alice. Wait, but doesn't he have the most points? Mm -hmm. That's not a problem. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. We will? I trust her more than any of the rest of you. Yep. I want to go with Alice, too. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Don't I get a say in this? I would like to go with Sigma or Phi. They chose Ally last time. Don't go with Phi. Don't go with Phi. She did not choose Ally. I chose Ally. I am the Ally. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Yeah. I'm Phi's partner. You should pair up with us. Sound good? No. Luna is being stolen! I am also opposed to that choice. If Alice and Clover pair up, and Luna and Dio pair up, the rest of us don't have a choice. We'll be stuck with Phi's option C. I believe I mentioned before that I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. Get over it! And I don't want to go with K either. <laughs> and what the hell are we supposed to do? Luna, don't fall for his circus rings. I can remember correct. things really good. Remember no. that. Please. It's my one trait. Please. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh. What's wrong, Cork? It's all over. What? This is it. What is? We're all going to die. Why? Are you all right? Oh my god, is he acting? Is he performing? No. No. That's not it. Don't you get it? We aren't gonna die. We have to die. We have to die here. All of us. What, what the hell? Oh, snap out of it, kid. Oh, come on, Quark. Talk to me. No, I'm fine. You're the crazy ones. Getting so serious about this stupid game. We should just stop. End this. End all of it. End everything. We need to get him to the infirmary. I don't think we do. No, we don't have time. <laughs> 30 seconds remain until chromatic doors close. We don't have a choice. Quark's with me. I'll carry him through. Okay. But we still haven't figured out who's going where. I can't afford to be picky anymore. Someone just choose. I don't care who. Sigma, you have to choose. Oh. Well, well, why me? Please, just do it. We don't have any time left. Oh. Nine, eight, seven. I don't know who to choose. I swallowed. I... <laughs> Alice and I will... Okay, in one route, my woman might get stolen. I also think Fi will try and betray her. 
In another route, I go with the robot, and he's a, he just seems really nice. In the third route, I get the potential lore. Wow, I'm glad I don't have a time limit, because god, I would, we, we would just be dead right now. I kind of want to go Clover for the lore, but I just love Luna, but Kay is so sweet. Let's go with Clover. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Okay, it's fine. Alice and I will take Clover and go through the red door. No. I cannot allow you to do that. Oh. God damn it, Kay! We don't have time for this! Choose a different door. Please. Okay. He stood in front of the red door, solid and immovable, in his metal armor. I didn't think I could force my way past him. And I knew I didn't have time to try. Shit. There were two doors left for me to choose from, but which one? Okay, I made my decision and I'm not allowed it. K is a Sigma Luna ship can fly. Okay, if he's okay, if he's a, a Sigma Luna shipper, we go with Luna. Dio will not steal my woman. Alice, <laughs> Luna, the green door. Right. I'm coming. Okay, we're going. We're, we're through. They both took off for the door, and I followed behind on a run. I glanced back over my shoulder in time to see the others head into their respective doors. Fi, Dio, and Kay ducked into the red door, just as Temyoji carried Quark through the blue door, Clover right on his heels. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Well, I'm sure that's fine. I think we made a great decision. There's no way this could go wrong. Thank you! Whoa! Hello, Orange. How you doing? Thank you so much for the raid! Were you playing VLR or are you doing other, other shenanigans? Are you having fun? I am! I am! I was very, very overwhelmed at first and it's kind of slowly starting to click a little bit. They really info dumped you right out the gate, which was quite fun. And then it's been a little bit more... I was terrified you were going down a route I haven't seen yet. Oh, Whoa. Is this a dead end? All three doors seem to be locked. That's unfortunate. What's this thing here? It looks like the device next to the number nine door. How do you feel about seeing Clover again? I missed the beginning. Oh! Um, definitely surprised. Um, nothing too crazy. Um... But I didn't expect to see her, no. I'm still loving BLR. I hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I'm I'm having a good time so far. Why don't you try pulling the lever? <laughs> Might as well. Nice. Huh? Look at the door on the right. It opened. Huh. That doesn't make any that doesn't make sense. Why would just the one on the right open? How do you open the other two? You're probably just overthinking it. That door opened. That means we're going through it. I Bring it on. Okay. But Don't go soft on me now. I'll leave you behind. Come on, Sigma. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I'm just a boy. Gollum? Gollum Bay?
What is this place? It is kind of confusing, isn't it? What is it for? Well, I think it looks like some sort of workroom. If you say so. We should split up and search it. We need to find, um, key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Yes. They should be somewhere in this room. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Yay! I'm with the love of my life and a woman that terrifies me. Yay! Golem Bay. Oh, hello. Whoa! Ooh. Okay, that's a fun room. Okay, I think we'll end it here, I guess. Um, there we go. That's it for the first. How many? Sorry, what? One? What? 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 Should I even dare? Do I even want to? Bigger than 999. Just a bit. Ooh. Okay, friend, thanks so much for hanging out. We'll be back next week in Golem Bay. Um. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. If you would like to talk in the spoiler chat about any of the Zero Escape shenanigans, you are welcome to do that. And also the Discord keeps you up to date with uh, the schedule and when I'm going live and also in general, it's just, it's lovely. Everyone on the Discord is the best. Um, you can also follow me on socials if you would like. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have the best weekend. There was a lot of game releases in the last like two days. So I hope that was fun. Or I hope if you're playing them, like enjoy. Um, and uh, I'll be back next week. I'm going to be doing a lot of editing. I feel like this week went by so quickly. Um, I'm going to be doing editing. The Silent Hill video is, I don't want to say close to the end, but we're, I'm trucking. Um, and is that all the things? I think so. I'll see you in the Discord. Silent Hill video is going to be generation. <laughs> it literally might be movie length, so get popcorn ready, I guess. Um, that's it. Bye, everyone. See you later. Have an amazing weekend. See you next week. <gasps> Bye. <laughs>